Microphone check, one, two, what is this? New, new, new Joe Biden! New, 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 I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few really cool guys. Parks is here in uniform, as always. (laughs) Ish is here with slits in his knees and all black McQueens. Uh, Smelling uh like money out here, huh? New ice and ish. Got my guy ice here, huh? Feeling good, feeling great. Feeling great. Good, man. Video Village back there, the young boys. It's, ah, y'all good? Yeah. Now, you got them kind of hype with the intro. I, I went back there real quick. I'm surprised they knew about that. They was turning up. Yeah. They was nine years old begging their <laughs> be, mom if they could go outside to the store to get candy so they could hear real niggas drive by playing that shit. Scared to death, taking the alternate route to get the, taking the long way to the store. Oh, they ain't just go straight down the no street? No way. No way. Not them. <laughs> Not dumb. Why, why not? Took them 40 minutes to get to the bodega. Cutting around a lot of blocks. Train train alleys. <laughs> they was jumping the third Back. rail, risking life. They went out they early, went, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They went out early. Oh, yeah, they, 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 they checked yeah. to see when the store opened. Yeah, they could yeah, Google yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. They could they Google, had Google that. Niggas like right. me, we went right outside. Oh, they closed. Mm. Huh? Oh, they closed. We couldn't Google it, young boy. You hear me? All right now. Oh, <laughs> round of applause for the young boys. Never experienced shit. Love you guys. Ignorant fucks. <laughs> All right, good. How's everybody feeling? How y'all doing, man? Great, How man. was your week? Cool. How's your head space? What's up? Got some rest? Got some work in? See, Talk to me. See. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spanish today. Oh. See, yes, you're saying. Ah. Yes, okay. You so, think, yes, you, you got some work I'm bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it, understand. Dykeman. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm not playing with him today. Come on, how y'all doing, man? What's up? I'm Talk chilling, to man. Right, I'm good, I'm good. good. I had a, had a smooth little week. You know, yep. end of the month, so shit gets a little busy over at the job, but made it through. So, I'm cool. Uh, anybody got big Halloween plans? Halloween plans? I think we're gonna do a little shindig. We went and did a, a little uh, corn maze last night. Got some corny shit. It was fun. Excuse me. Got out of that shit. <laughs> I was about to Wait. say. You, 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 you took it. <laughs> what did I say? A corn maze. Huh? A so corn wait, y'all maze. never did. Y'all never did that before. No. What is that? I'm not even gonna waste time with the audience. What, what's a corn maze? A, a maze made of corn stalks. Yes. Corn stalks. You did that before? Yeah. You from Elizabeth? <laughs> oh, that's when you was living when out there. Out yeah, there yeah. Pencil, I know PA had pencil. the fire core <laughs> They did. It was yeah. some shit called Field of Screams. That was nuts. That's Field. when he moved out there to Fuckville. Screams. The corn was taller than you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Lucky your black ass came out. You keep playing with the white people in that corn if you want to. So we got one. Yeah. You keep playing with the white people in that corn if you want to. <laughs> we wouldn't. We, would, we wouldn't even know. We wasn't even looking for ice. Oh. They would have just got rid of him. Easy. Mm-hmm. We'd be like, damn, I just went out there and just stayed. Lo- loved the life. <laughs> Yo, where'd you do the corn maze? It was in Queens. Well, Parks is white. He's going to find a corn maze. In Queens? He that was, that I thought a, he went home. That you know, my wife forced me to do the corn maze. You know he might have built one. Yo, you know, since you yes. got married, you've been saying that a lot. What? My wife forced me. My wife forced me to do yeah, XYZ. That's how it goes. I don't know <laughs> if you know what marriage means, I, but yeah. I, I don't, and you don't have to send shots at me <laughs> about it. I don't, but okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, Yo, cool. you're 6'5", though. I can see above everything. It was easy. I know. It's yeah. cheating. Yeah. I don't... We're not starting with this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care anymore. About How was your week, buddy? Rest. Ah. Rest. Oh. Rest. And more rest. It's too much fun in D.C. That shit took a week out of you. <laughs> I'm in... Oh. Yeah? Yeah, I like rest. The, re- the recovery like time is a little longer now I, when you're I, older. I know they want to hear wild, extravagant stories of... So Escapades yeah. outside. It's over, man. No, and sweet. then when I give them to you, y'all tell me to grow up, date a mature <laughs> woman. Why the fuck you still in the strip club? But I haven't been. They have to miss me. They haven't texted me. <laughs> it's but coming. I'm, but I'm sure they miss me out there. Yeah, it's, it's coming. getting cold out. They're going to text, text you listen, a little it's bit. It's getting cold in New York. It's I don't coming. know what that means in other places in the world. In New York, 
head down to the finish line. It's like Groundhog's Day. We everybody in the crib mm-hmm. getting shit together, get just getting life right. Getting life right. I did that in the summertime, ran around. It's time to do all that and the bartenders and strip clubs. Nah, I'm cool now. So I just been resting. I've been chilling. Good. Watching TV, catching up on shit, eating, drinking water. <laughs> All of that stuff. That sounds good. Man. Avoiding vegans. <laughs> <laughs> avoiding. Any- <laughs> avoiding. Yeah, fun terrorists. Yeah, yeah. I'm avoiding all fun terrorists. Uh-huh. There's a lot of them out there. These you days. have to hit me now with, with upliftment, upliftment, love, light, lust, darkness, violence, something, <laughs> something. Stand firm in something and hit me. But I've been good. Good. I've been good. Looking forward to the weekend. Uh, rain, rain all day. I love it. Yeah. A lot of good music came out. Anxious to speak to you guys about it. Uh, but before we get into any of that, I want to start with, because I was a little a little under the weather last time I was here, I want to hit start with round of applause and a congratulations, as well as a thank you and a great send-off for Bridget Kelly, Mandy, the entire See The Thing Is movement. Uh they are going on to do season two away from the Joe Button Network. I want to applaud those women for doing exactly what they sought out to do. Uh, I want to thank them for trusting me and crew and working with me and crew to help make those visions come to life. Uh, and I just want to offer them all of my support, love, and encouragement as they move forward. And I'm proud. I'm proud that we did what we said we would do in such a short amount of time, which was a year. So again, round of applause to Bridget, Mandy, you ladies were a pleasure to work with. Absolutely. Love you Mondays guys. Mondays were a lot of fun, man. I we'll miss Mondays. Mon- Mondays will be lonelier. They will be a little lonelier, but I'm very excited for both of you and anxious to see what you guys have in store and where you guys plan on, on taking your vision. And again, applauding you for being able to now have a vision and want to execute that on your own Mm -hmm. and retaining ownership. Come on, let me turn my applause up. Let me turn my applause up. Yeah, I wanted to send that message last week, but I don't think I would have said it with the proper tone Mm. because of how I was feeling. But I'm super proud of those ladies, and I cannot wait to see what's in store for both of them, congratulations to Mandy and Bridget Kelly. Yeah, yes. they have a great show. Yes. Go out and support yes. that wherever they, they yes. land. They, yes. they have a Patreon. I know they have a Patreon. They have support a Patreon. That. I'm sure they'll end up somewhere. And if they don't and choose to rock out independently, just support those women with their vision and, and their content, please. Now, where would you like to begin? Music? Music or Rolling Loud? I guess they're one and the same. Yeah. Depending on how y'all feel, let's just get right to it. Let's not waste any time. We can start with Rolling Loud. Okay, let's start there. Okay. Why do y'all keep taking a bag from Rolling Loud? <laughs> yeah, at this point. Oh, my Jesus. And that's messed up to say, right? I can't say that. No, yes, you there can. There are people listening that are saying, why is Joe Budden saying that? I'm saying that because people seem to be targeted and arrested at every Rolling Loud. Yeah. Does seem to be a lot of shit surrounding that that festival for whatever reason. I don't know if it's be- just be- yeah. But before we get in our personal opinion, is there any correlation that can be proven for fact about why the Rolling Loud festival seemingly works in cahoots with the feds and the state and the police and the mayor? Without being biased, let's, I mean, you would have to work with these people to throw such a huge event sure. mm-hmm. yeah. in the city. Mm-hmm. That being right? said, there's a lot of other events that happen in the city that are huge. There's other festivals. But are, it's, it's are they as, are, always rolling loud? Are they as huge? Are they as big as this one? Governor, I don't know. Governor's ball is huge. Is it as big as Rolling Loud? Today? I would say so. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a. Uh, hey, it's not as uh, hip hop centric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say that. Yeah. Okay, well, Although there well, is that, well, that's, well that's there. one big distinction. That's a very yeah, big, but there's e- a lot of big hip hop acts there. It's not void of hip hop talent. The Rolling Loud though is uh. they seem to be following. I don't want to target Rolling Loud. They seem to be following drill culture, mm. right? Mm. But I mean, that's y'all got to help that's me. Kind, that's that's kind of my wheelhouse. That's, that's kind of what's at the front forefront of rap Rolling right Loud or or rap. Rap. That's not at the forefront of rap. It's up there. 
The drill it's shit? A sub- genre that's it's big a, It's a popular it's, subgenre it's, it's, right it now. It's one of it's the really, really bigger big. subgenres. It's the biggest subgenre. It might be the biggest. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I don't... That's true. Yeah. Currently? It might be the right biggest. Right now? Yes. It might be the biggest currently. The top... All right, we don't have to argue this. Mm-mm. It is one of the biggest subgenres. Yeah, cool. I'm just saying it's not the biggest sound in hip hop right now. But like, if you know, the, no, no, I didn't say that. <clears throat> yeah. I just said it's the biggest subgenre. Okay, sub, that, sub being the important. Uh, if you're the feds, you know they're gonna be there. You know they got a big ass bag to be there. See, but wait, stop right there. Help me out. Yeah, I, yeah, I know people are gonna be there, but am I going there because people are gonna be there, or am I going there because people I've been watching and laying on the are latter, gonna be there? I think the latter. No, the latter. So uh, I'm, I'm talking about if you're the feds. You know with absolute certainty that, where they're gonna be the person on X Y Z day. Yeah, At what exactly. time? I can go on the website and yeah, see the time. It's weird because they promote everything. So if I want to get you, I don't have to wait the rolling loud. Now I want to embarrass you too. There you go. Uh, I don't know where Fetty Wap has been. I mean, he would post flyers. But if he's doing, if he's doing yeah. anything somewhere, it's gonna be posted. But That's you what know I'm what saying. the difference is? I think if well, you're doing fed, little, if you're doing little club dates, it's easier to. Dip I, out, I can get hide out. somewhere, I can get out. I can and rolling loud, it's a little trickier. I we think. could blend in. The feds could blend in with loud, the crowd. We got the parking lot covered, yeah. Yeah. the backstage covered, both stages covered. Mm-hmm. We're working in cahoots with the organizers of the event. A little different from going to Barcode to pick you up. Exactly. Yeah. Now, you heard Max O'Cream? He said, yeah. yo, he turned around and walked back in the stadium, and the security yeah. was like, nah, you can't come back in here. Right. And he was like, oh, you working with them. Yeah, you was there. working with them. He said he saw him coming from two sides. He went to walk back in the venue, and they was like, no, 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 you can't come back. When, when I got arrested before that Slaughterhouse concert, had I known I had a warrant or something, I would have taken care of it. Mm-hmm. I was just upset that the venue was working with authorities, and still nobody let me and know nobody that there was shit. a... Yeah, nobody said nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would feel a way. Yeah, I that guess. part is weird. That part is weird. And you, it could you be... Think you and would, and it could be that the Fed, you know, with Rolling Loud being such a big event, they could kind of lean on you. You got to work with us, so we'll fuck you. We'll, we'll make fuck your, your event. Yeah, we'll fuck your event up. True. They could put pressure on them to say, look, this is what we want. Okay, Y'all so have then, to I get back to my, your hand. then I get back to my really stupid old guy civilian question. If I know I'm doing some shit, why do I take the Rolling Loud bag? It's only two bags a year that I would be skipping. If I feed myself by doing some other shit, mm-hmm. why am I not just skipping these two bags? Are the bags that big? Two yes, things, probably, two but if you're in the illegal shit, right, you got to find a way to wash that bread. Right. So if you got a Benz outside, oh, fuck a Benz, Benz whack nowadays. You got a Rolls Royce outside. You got a big ass house. I'm not you want to say my, that Benz is whack. No, I love I Benz. Just I'm just saying Benz. today's society. I just got a Benz. You didn't get the Benz. Take it a bit. No, it's made by Ben. Go ahead, you. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You better. <laughs> go ahead, man. Who are you talking to? Like? I don't know. Like, no, go ahead. You like, were anyway. saying about the kids. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, like, let's just say hypothetically, and prayers out to Fetty Wap. But let's say he bought a Rolls Royce. Mm-hmm. Let's say he got a big ass house. Mm-hmm. He got to justify that shit. So I got X Y Z amount of money from Rolling Loud. This is how I pay for all this shit. Yeah. As opposed bad. to just doing club dates and you can't justify owning all that shit with that. I can't send my people in there first and I just go on close to the show. People time. might not they know. They blending in. in. They might not know. They definitely That's why I, and, yeah. and on top of that, you might not even know like they, that they laying on you. Yeah. You have no idea. It could be no complete idea. surprise. You think oh, if he shit. knew they was he had a some shit out for him, he would have went to rolling loud? I hope not. Yeah. yeah sure. But you I'm saying no but idea. I'm saying I hope not. I see it every year. But again, so you saying if you are doing some illegal shit, just not even whether you know they own you or not, skip the Rolling Loud bag because that's where they seemingly are picking yeah, you and, up. Yeah, and, and I feel funny even saying that because it sounds like a very surface point. Mm-hmm. Like it sounds like I don't have all the information, so I, I won't say it. Mm-hmm. It's just a thought. It's just a thought. But let me read this because more information came out. Platinum selling hip hop uh, star Fetty Wap's latest rap. Shut up. Yeah, I hate when they do yeah, that. Yeah, shut up. That is, shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. The hit making new uh, here we go. The hit making New Jersey musician was busted for his role in a multi million dollar drug ring that imported more than one hundred kilos of heroin, fentanyl, and cocaine from the West Coast for sale in Long Island and New Jersey. Federal prosecutors charged Friday. The trap queen artist was one of six men, including a Garden State corrections officer, charged in the. Oh, that's savvy. That's savvy. Yeah, they get busy. Including a Garden State Corrections officer charged in the lucrative drug dis- uh, distribution scheme, authorities said. The rapper from Patterson, New Jersey, was arrested Thursday at City Field 
on day one of a three-day music festival and was expected to make his initial court appearance Friday afternoon on Long Island. Sad, man. That's super sad. Mm -hmm. That's really sad. I, t I take a lot. I pull I pull a lot from this. Me too. Um, I was saying off mic, the people in the streets apparently are looking for fentanyl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know we- I told you that already. I know. It was, I just couldn't understand it. It was hard to fathom. I, I told you. I told you. I told you. I did. You told me. A lot of people you know. jumped you in and was me. like, yo, no, there is a market that they're actually yeah, they actively that looking shit. for- I, th I thought you had cut all of your drug dealer ties to the streets, <laughs> but apparently you still have some that keep you informed on the climate out there. You were absolutely right. Next time I will believe you. Nah, but this is unfortunate. Cause he kind of how old is he? He's young. Yeah, he's young. About so, 30? 31, yeah, maybe about 30, 30, 31, yeah, somewhere, somewhere like that. Yeah. <sighs> you don't you yeah, but fair. you don't catch this operation at Rolling Loud. You've been laying on this. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah, Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what we just 100%. said. And now we got enough info to bring him in. And we're we going to go get him. We know exactly right where he's going to be, gonna what be. time he's going to be. He can't escape. We got a bunch of jokers wearing fake gold chains out there that's undercover agents. And we got the security team. Book him, Dana. There it is. Don't arrest me at, my, at the festival, man. Word. That's nasty. Or at the pod. <laughs> 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 you oh, oh my you know god It's yeah. crazy Or at the pod yeah. right. you know what I mean? Don't arrest me in New York Period boy No sir New Jersey Things be a little bit smooth At least <laughs> In New York <laughs> This shit different No sir Bob just obey the law Listen to me <laughs> If I tell you all the laws I just broke Like listen to me I'm so proud of myself right now oh, Um yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this Fetty Wap shit outside. I'm sure he was excited to perform all of those hits in New York. No, he just yeah, dropped, and he just dropped the last week. He got a new album. Yeah, he just one of the songs as a sleeper. Damn, man. He just dropped And the, the feedback album, from the album was it's positive. It's positive. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's yo, solid. this just sound like old Fetty Wap yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. They, they were telling us, like, yo, how the fuck y'all from New Jersey? Y'all ain't played the Fetty shit. Da, 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 da. They've been cursing us out. I was going, I was going to play one of his joints last week. So he just dropped the album. So you got your old shit. Seems like, seem like your... they always wait until your album drop. Or right? something positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. something positive about to happen, and now we're going to go get them. Uh-huh. That's some That's bullshit. That's usually how it goes. Fam, how you think some people are financing their album? <laughs> <laughs> shit. The label ain't giving you no bread. Now not I got to sell scat. Not at all. Not... That's a shame. The label need... Who is label, yo? I think he's independent now. Who was his label? 300. They need to fill it. Something. 300 made some... Fucking spanky off his album, yeah, they boy. Did. They made some money. They, they made, made a lot of money. Resort to selling a skag. lot of money. He, he, he had allegedly. the album done already when he, they, uh, he did his album himself. Yeah, so they made a ton of money off of him and got out at the right time. And now he got a resort to selling skag after y'all put me on a. And you oh, want three hundred oh. to be crucified for that? I don't. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just making sure. Here you go, yo. <laughs> don't start this shit. I'm, just like, I'm, I'm here for the creator. I, I am just. Make, I am here for the creator. And three hundred. I don't want no beef. Keep going. Prayers to Fetty Wap, man, and his people. Yeah, hopefully, you know, hopefully you can. Beat you know the case. what, Joe? Listen, and I ain't gonna let you do that to me. You know what Joe's plan is? I've said it repeatedly. Point. Zero 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 one percent of all recording contracts signed today, moving moving forward in perpetuity, should go to the recording artists that have one, two, three albums or that have hit certain benchmarks mm -hmm. in the past in the major recording world. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. That's Joe's plan. So then, no, you don't have to resort to, to that. You've produced too much. Fetty Wap has produced too much. That's why it's really sad. Y'all know what he do when the set come on. Mm -hmm. And you've been, you been out when the set come on. You know mm -hmm. what time it is. Mm -hmm. Like my face lit up seeing 50 be able to go out there and perform that, that shit from 03. That's why I started that way. One of my favorite eras. And it still hit the same because you know what that is. If you've been outside, you've been somewhere, and that set came on, the 50 set, you know what time mm -hmm. it was. Fetty has that. Yeah. Yeah, no, he has a whole stretch. Come on, man. And I was outside for it. Good old days. Yeah. Good old days. Yeah, my wife's from Patterson, so I, I, she was putting me onto him early. You know, I was like, what, what is Fetty Wap? <laughs> <laughs> and then he became the biggest star in the entire world. It's sad, man. 
then went away and, and, and recently seemed like he found his creative juices and the record started sounding a little better. Yeah. So this is really unfortunate. Prayers to uh, prayers to Fetty Wap, prayers to the rest of those brothers. Here we go, more bad news. ESTG's business associates charged an FBI gang bus said to have terrorized our communities. That don't tell me what the charge is. Uh, said to have terrorized communities. No, that's how they. This this is how they. That's, that's, that's how they, they, they convict you. Yeah. They right. convict you in the media. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Federal authorities have arrested several individuals connected to ESTG's company. Everybody, oh, for alleged drug trafficking and weapons offenses. According to U.S. Attorney's Office, 10 people, including Rico's Mullen, identifying himself as have been charged with conspiracy. Conspiracy to possess with the intent to distribute as well as distribution of controlled substances. All right, my prayers go out to them as well. They laying on niggas, man. That's the they bottom are. line. They, they really are. are. Mm-hmm. They really are. They're waiting. What? He was supposed to be a rolling loud. Oh, he was supposed to be a rolling loud. They must have found somebody at, at their favorite restaurant. Eating, trying to get a meal in before the show. That's they laying on people, man. Fifteen. Be careful out there. Be careful out there. Well, that goes. That's right in line with the message that friend of the show, my dear, my dear friend Vince Staples, wants me to be responsible on my platform and spread the message to the youth in New York that y'all should chill out. Hmm. Based I, on, I can't even go in it. I didn't even. I can't. I'm a civilian, man. Like. The way that he sees it, I wouldn't see it that way because he got different eyes. But I'm going to take his word for it because I have YouTube and I have the news. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing it. And it goes in, in line with this and just what the young niggas is doing out here. And, yeah, I would hope that, yeah, just be careful. Just be careful, man. That's, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what else to say. It's kids, too. It's yo. scary. It's scary. They're getting younger. It's kids. They barely it's, touch it's, it's a teenager. Kid, no, it's kid on kid it's crime. Kid, mm-hmm. But this, that's the scary part about it, because when it's kids, no information is released because you minors, so you right. don't even know, you don't who, know what's who, going who the on. psycho 14-year-old is. That's true. And they minors, so we might could beat this, because I'm a minor. I'm going to go sit up in the youth house or juvie do, do for a little bit. Life. No, you could do juvenile life. Uh, you do some dumb shit when you're 15, party. you come home at 18. Yeah. Right. With more stain now. Because you did juvenile life, so now you respect it. Everybody know you when you get out at 18, mm-hmm. and you straight menace. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Ooh. <sighs> no, it's, it's bad. I'm glad we didn't hear about, well, it's a few days left for the festival. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to say I'm glad yeah, we didn't hear one. about anything else, but that was day one. Word. That was day one. Who's perfor- Who performed last night? Pull it up. I uh, think J. Cole, Travis. J. Cole. J. Cole Friday night. Lil Baby, Cardi, Kodak. Uh, Trippy, Rick Ross, Yachty, Ski Man, Slump God, Wale, City Girls, uh, Quilly Ray, Chief Keith. Damn, this night is That's lit. That's nice. I was yeah. going to say, damn. J.I., Flip the Narrow, 42 Doug, T. Grizzly, Moray, Boss, Ogeezy, Bia. A lot of names I don't know from here. Who's tonight? Who's tonight? Travis Scott, Roddy Rich, Meg, Lil TJ, Ferg, Nav, Rod Wave, Sheck West, Diplomats, Griselda, Young Dolph, Action Bronson, NLE Chopper, Chef G, Sleepy Hollow, Lotto, these are two good nights. Yeah. This whole festival is I'm about to say every night. I'm surprised you ain't go. Partisan Fontaine. No, no. Ooh, I, I don't go no more. I watch on TV. <laughs> oh, I'm streaming. streaming right? every, yeah. yeah. I watch the stream of this. With I'm, special guest Bobby Schmurder. Nice I don't lineups, man. Nowhere. Nah, that's a nice lineup. They spent a lot of money on this thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we, do we know how much they make? How much they bring I was about back? to say, how many, ever... how many people does this hold? It's a it's a it's, out, it's, it's an outside, outdoor event. Outdoors, it's outside it's of the yes. It's outside of the city field. It's not even within the city field where you gotta you know account for all the seats. Yeah. This is outside in the parking lots. Fifty thousand, probably, maybe more. They got to maybe pay more. all they them off. Yeah, yeah they, it's they, a huge they, parking lot. Yeah. I saw uh, I forgot what the fuck festival that was. There it was when Kanye ran off stage because Kim got arrested. Uh, got arrested. Oh, she got robbed she in got robbed. Paris. Yeah, yeah, that shit was huge. It was three stages. Huge. I don't know how many people, but hundreds, probably a hundred hundred thousand. Yeah. And not even per day. Yeah, I was gonna say. And the price, the, price. I was just gonna say the ticket <laughs> prices on like, that, like you get a three day like, pass? They're hundred and seventy five a day. Yeah. Shit, I thought they were higher than that. It might be. Uh, they might, might be. be I was yeah, saying seven seven plus yeah, for might, the three well, day for pass. the three day pass. They make a lot of sense. Right. They paid out a million dollars to one person. And Almost twenty nineteen. 
Well, <laughs> listen. And that's not including vendors that's and water. We can look and at the names merch. and, and see know that the bag is associated that the with the budget it. is Ridiculous. large, yeah. which lets me know that the return is crazy. Is large. Yeah. Large enough for them to do this twice. Miami. Yeah. And New York. Are oh, there's more than that. West Coast, too. Yeah, there's yeah. a West Coast one. There's an international. There's, there's multiple. I want to hit a round now. of applause for Rolling Loud just because that thing came together pretty fast. Like, when was the first Rolling Loud? Not too long Not ago. Not that long. 2015? Less than five years, yeah, I would say. Somewhere in that, that range. Hey, pull up when the first Rolling Loud was. I think it was 2015, 2016. Listen, look at how fast that happened. Mm-hmm. And God, they did that. Jesus. In that short amount of time, that's kind of That crazy. is impressive. I wonder who's the investors behind it. That is impressive. No, that, I was about to They're say. They're jumping up and down. They got to be getting sponsorship through the, through the roof. Sure. Of course. Sure. That's, that's they get anything for. they want. Or, yeah. Look at the names yeah. they get to take like around. Right. Actually, not even take around. Because now they just sit and answer the phone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People know when Rolling Loud mm-hmm. is. They know it's a few of them. Mm-hmm. Probably in another month or two months, they'll begin negotiating for the next one. I'm sure it's already started. Yeah, they probably already started. Yeah, definitely, man. Salute to the people at Rolling Loud. And this is another Stop reason. Stop working with the feds, though. No, I was working. No, no, no. <laughs> I was about to tell you. That's like you another can't, reason. I can't tell them that because they're making too much money. That's another the feds reason is on why they like, come get these They got to be compliant. They're they making to. too much money. Man, that's what I was saying. The feds mm-hmm. sit there and lean on you. Yo, you have to be compliant with us or else we'll, we'll shut your whole shit down. Yeah. And too much I mean, money at risk here. We've seen this time and time again. Do we ever expect... The, the company or corporation to side with the artistry over the business side of things? No. no. No, it's not even business either because a lot of these, I don't know who owns it, but let's say it's an older demo. Uh-huh. They looking at you like a drug dealing creep any fucking way. Mm-hmm. So they're more than welcome to, yeah, 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 come get them. Well, Ice was telling me, the baby came out with 50 mm-hmm. Thursday night. That's yeah. dope. They cut it, though, on the stream. They cut it on the stream. He came out. He was like, really? what y'all thought y'all wasn't going to see the live show killer and all that, which told me that he wasn't booked or promoted, mm-hmm. which protected all of their Investment. business and mm-hmm. investments and sponsors, I'm yep. sure. Uh, but he came out with 50. Rolling Loud would have had to been aware, oh, they were aware for him to be there, yeah. so they clearly weren't mad at him being there. But that's only interesting because that whole rant that he went on that got him in all the trouble in the first place was at Rolling Loud in Miami. Miami. Mm-hmm. So that was interesting. He what looked, did they do during the stream? Did they just cut it? Cut it. Just cut commercial? No. It the just cut. He it went black. Stage and it wow. went black. Don't make coffee. Next Get artist, drink. No shit. It just went black and it wow. stayed fade to black. I was watching. Fifty was performing. He did maybe five records. Uh-huh. Then he brought out a boogie. Hmm. A boogie started performing, and I guess this is the baby was coming out right afterwards or something. It just cut. Wow. And I was like, damn, that's it. <laughs> and then I went and started reading oh shit I see what happened oh did they cut it back on after you went off well there was another um, like it went, you know how you have multiple stages yeah so you click the other stream for uh, a different okay, stage gotcha. that was the last show for this stage gotcha so you don't know like that was it for that particular stream wow you know why Dave Chappelle's a genius originally when I was watching his uh, most recent stand up and he got to the baby part my first thought was Y'all would be so angry if I was the baby that my name is in the biggest comedian's mouth in this manner. Mm-hmm. But then with all that followed, boy, didn't Dave look out for him? Did he? Of course yeah, he did. But I, it, I didn't hear it that way when he first said it as all. Well. How do you really? mean, how do you mean yeah, he looked out that's, for him? That's kind of how I took it mm-hmm. off. The, what do you, how do you mean he looked out for him? He basically described that it's a 22-year-old kid uh-huh. doing some dumb shit, mm-hmm. but he needs grace. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all do dumb shit, especially in your 20s. That That's what one of the things that bother me. Like, motherfuckers forget when they was 20 years old. Right. And the goofy shit we was doing, we just didn't have the internet. When you was doing goofy shit, nobody could pull their phone up and record you doing goofy shit. But we all did a ton of goofy shit. Absolutely. At 20 years especially old. Especially said some goofy we shit. We all said a bunch of, of bullshit course. at 20 years old. With all it followed, well, damn, it just seemed but... like he did for, he did... Exactly for the baby, what he said his trans his transgender friend did for him, like stepped in front of something, the other bullets, and and took it on, like mm. he he's he's taking on the fight. He did. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't make the egregious fucking. He didn't go on that egregious rant that uh, the baby went on, but and he, he held him accountable. He held him accountable. Held him accountable. He gave him grace, and he stood in front of it. And his business associate stood in front of it because he was standing in front That's of dope. it. Mm-hmm. Like, 
It was interesting. That's important. It was interesting. That's important. That's, no, that's it, the important part. It was. I, I, I want. I want to catch Dave when he comes to New York and does that shit. I definitely want to go see that shit. What date is that again? November uh, what? Twenty second. Twenty second. November twenty second. They're taking my uh, Thanksgiving money. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Sorry. I'm still gonna no, be there. Though. Like, uh, yeah, I I never even looked at it. Again, but what you just said makes sense. Mm-hmm. And and we need that. From an old head like him, mm-hmm. he ain't an old head, but Dave Chappelle is I mean, an, an established cemented an OG. You, you just OG. call him off, yeah. yeah, like he cemented. So for him to take some of that brunt from the baby is dope. I never even looked at it in that in that way. That, yeah, that, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, no, I think so too. Uh, before we get to music, I asked y'all earlier, and I think y'all might have brushed over it. What what is everyone doing for Halloween, and does Halloween still exist for adults? It's just the reason you get drunk right? with your friends. Yeah, it's just to and see women. You, you see women clad outfits. Wait, no, it's I Sunday. don't fuck with that. It's Sunday. You might not be working on Sunday. You know I don't fuck with Halloween anyway, though. That's not my thing. You, you <clears> can <throat> fuck with it without fucking with like the meaning of Halloween. Yeah, yeah. I don't see how you how? do that. How easy? If I'm going out to a party or something where there's women so going to be there, my, so it's not about my kid. I'm just saying it's not about Halloween. Halloween. You just going to a social event. Yeah, exactly. Where everyone's wearing costumes because it's Halloween ish. Right. Uh, so I'm, it is about Halloween. I'm just saying about the. Meaning of Halloween. Yeah, you don't gotta get into, you gotta get into worship or anything like that. Yes, it's just another do excuse. Stop to, do y'all stop to think about just how different Halloween is today than it was for us growing up? Mm-hmm. I don't want to bore anybody, but no, that's, that's fascinating to me. Ain't no mischief. How did they no sell us? How did they even sell us back in the day on going to strangers' houses to eat candy from strangers and taking it all home as children to get sugared up for our parents? Custom is custom. People don't really question the custom. They just do it because it's customary. You get what I'm saying? Like, they don't really question where it came from. They don't question anything. It's just the norm. See, today we got uh, coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason for people to say, you know what? I'm not bringing my kids to anyone's house. Right. But shit, before they had, they was putting needles in the candy. Razor blades. blades. Razor blades. It was mail bombs. It was what else they had? Swine. It was some shit that was out that made it tough for you to get to people's houses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody told me Ebola was the the flop disease. <laughs> they tried. <laughs> a few of them they had to run it back. Yeah, yeah a few of nah, them. They flopped. got it together. Yeah, they had swine flu. Swine flu. H one N one. Zika. Yeah. No, they went back oh, in the lab. Shit. What about Zika? Oh my god. Joey. This is Joe Budden live on the Joe Budden podcast. I'm on air. Hello, I won't say your name. I'll protect your anonymity. How are you? All is truly well. Um, can you send me the address so I can pull up on you? Thank you. Damn. Wow. All right, I'm sending it right now, girl. All right, bye. Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to see you. Bye. <laughs> Banged it on me. <laughs> and I'm so phony. I can't wait to see you too, girl. With the angel I emoji. thought that was you. What? That banged it. No, no, I thought it banged it. Yeah. The angel emoji is my new favorite emoji to send for some reason. I don't know. I know I don't know how to use those things, but I like that one. Phony. You phony, yo. Why? Because of that one? Mm-hmm. That no, that's a- not why you phony. You phony oh. for other reasons, but that that's phony. Part of your phoniness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, guilty got me. You got the angel me. emoji means you're not an angel. Listen, if I if I if I wasn't phony today, then what would what would there be to work on when I turn forty two, <laughs> or forty three, or forty four? You got to save something to evolve into, right? <laughs> Saving it. You could Saving you could pinpoint your evolution. Saving it, yeah, one hundred percent. And I got gotcha. and I got some more. I see more discipline in my future too. It's coming. <laughs> then the game is in trouble. <laughs> then the game is in trouble. I ain't gonna hold you. Like when you uh, learn how to be on time for shit, yeah. game is in trouble. Game <laughs> is in trouble. Nah, damn, I'm going to tear their ass up there. No, nah, when you get when 50, I stop 51. Pro- when I stop procrastinating. <laughs> what, what age do you think you're going to try that at? Already, you don't give a fuck, right? It is what trying. it is. When you get your age, it's, I'm just me, right? I'm stuck in your ways. I'm not yeah, tell us, honestly. No. Nah. Joe, you're four years younger than me. Stop your fuckery. <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> number two, no, I'm trying to improve every day. On every day? day? Are you? So you why do you think you have such a hard time with the, the time thing if you try to do it every day? Because I procrastinate a lot. So I think I got time. So I'll put it off. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then... And they, are you a guy that likes to, uh, to do everything yourself too? Because I'm... Yeah. And I, I'm a, that's where I run into... And I'm uh, a crammer. And chicks like me. 
So I work well when I'm cr- like, like you know what I mean? be liking you. <laughs> How you gonna get somewhere on time? Like when she look, <laughs> she looking at me. <laughs> look, <What? laughs> I'm gonna just go and talk. Look, she looking at me right there. I know Let's roll. I don't know how it go. You might. I don't know how it goes. But yeah, anyway. she told me I she had hazel eyes last week. Don't do this. I didn't say. What you call yourself? The Green Eyed Bandit or some shit? <laughs> What's that name you, you gave yourself? Sermon, he bro. gave us some. Don't do that no more, man. Don't do that. <laughs> What's wrong? Green All right, bandit. so Halloween is over. We're not sending our kids to anyone's houses. No one's getting dressed up. At most, we'll do a kickback no. or a party. No, 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 no Costumes, bro. That, that's the bit, that's the one of the biggest things. That's the difference. You said, what's the difference between the women stole it, us coming up, and they, they, hold they it gave out. them a reason to be. They hold it practice out. their whoredom. Halloween. <laughs> there you go. Hey, round of applause. What are the greatest holidays? Round of applause. <laughs> Yo, Halloween. Yeah, hey, hey, not for nothing. Halloween used to be like a day or a weekend, bro. They go, they post outfits until damn near Thanksgiving. They Baby. just keep going. Yeah, Baby. Just, it's like it gives them seven times to post Baby. raunchy Word. shit. Baby. That's funny. I feel your pain. So I know. Hey, Erickson, paint a camera to my face so I could talk to the, the ladies for Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> I see what they did to y'all. I see what they did for y'all, and my heart goes out for y'all. Look what they did. They put the biggest show in the world out on Netflix and put out merchandise a few months before Halloween. Hmm. Now y'all got to go get the scissors and cut out the squid game costumes to make it whole like Mm -hmm. and just keep the mask on. Oh, don't worry. They think they stopped y'all. No. But I know y'all. Yeah. No, no, y'all resourceful. I know y'all. <laughs> they're gonna they look at little green oh, jumpsuit look exactly. like, like, like a million oh, dollars. Sam, they million. like challenge accepted. Mini oh, skirts yeah. with That's pockets like, oh. is coming. Please, they Ca- y'all got them fucked up. Cargo they, mini skirts. They, they coming. Sent, they sent that shit right to Fashion Nova. Hey, fix this up for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> send it. Make back. the ass look right. <laughs> yeah, they sent it the pretty little thing. They mm-hmm. sent it to the girl to make the starlets outfits. <laughs> I'm surprised they, they triple hey, and, they, and they send it to Nana. You know, Nana still got the sewing machine. Oh, no, Nana, Nana get busy. Nana get oh, busy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, that's crazy. But nah, they've taken Halloween and turned it into I knew a my grandma was leaving. Festival. She stopped hitting the sewing machine. I was like, all right, Nana don't even feel like sewing no more. What the <laughs> hell is going on, man? The fuck? All right, forget it. This guy's stupid. Yeah. Forget it. But yeah, that's what happened with Halloween, though. Yeah, the, the women took it. Yeah, and God, I'm not complaining. Yeah, God bless them. Yes, I'm. I'm all for that. I can watch. Yeah. And while and while Halloween is out the way since it's tomorrow, I'll just throw this out there like I did last year to nobody reciprocate anything. I've never been invited to a Friendsgiving. I've never been to a Friendsgiving. I've never been in a group chat where Friendsgiving was discussed. Never hosted a Friendsgiving? I've never hosted a Friends. Well, wait, did I host one last year? That might have been a Super Bowl party. I've never hosted a Friendsgiving. You might have. I feel a way about Last that. Last year, you might have. Were my friends there? <laughs> that was, that was Did whole, you invite your friends? That was Halloween, nigga. It was Hosgiving. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't nothing but Yo, what's the host get Thanksgiving, man? <laughs> Y'all better stop. My baby listening to this podcast with no sense of humor. Like, None of this shit funny <laughs> Yo man So last year you said right So you, that was You like when? turkey legs Can't say I... nothing about a hoe or nothing <laughs> <laughs> Like hoe is just fun to say It is A hoe is just fun to say <laughs> They don't believe that shit If you say it You got them tucked somewhere I'm sure And I No I don't Anyway but you don't Moving on Moving on Moving on Um, What else is important gentlemen well, We got music We still ain't talk about no music that dropped A lot of music came And a lot of music came out today Yesterday, excuse me. And you'll know that if you just sit in your phone and search every artist you like. <laughs> How else would you know mad music drop? They don't tell you anymore. Now they just take the money. Now you go on time. Well, I'm now, time yeah, yeah, I was going to say, now the artists the themselves timeline. are telling you all over their That's socials. The find out. That's the way they're doing it. But look at that. It just sounds like some bullshit. The timeline. Look, I got to find out about music. I know. I was about to say, the so timeline. if you don't follow the artist, you don't have a way of knowing? Uh, uh, they kind of put it on the top, but not really. I kind of have to follow all my favorite artists on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. what they're doing. I really? Yeah. yeah. Well, because the the top of, we talked about this a million times, but the top of the iTunes and title and all that shit just be all the shit the label wants you yeah. to buy. It don't be your favorite artist there. Nine no, times no, out of no. ten, the labels are p- placing those there. Yeah, I follow Alex. That's how I know. Yeah, what Alex. To Alex, be honest with you, yeah, Alex. Alex will post it all. Ball till we fall. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right, so what dropped? Tell me. Let's try to get through the, get through this together. Okay. Big Sean and Hit Boy dropped an EP. Okay. A little quick six songs. Yeah, a little six pack. Six pack. I like the short short project, so I you know. Well, he said he's working on his album. He just wanted to get a fan something. You know, he, he's off of good music. This was dropped with his new venture through Def Jam. Okay. Called uh, FF to Def okay. Entertainment. Uh, finally Famous with me. It's Finally Famous to Def. But, got uh, you, got you. But yeah. Have y'all heard it? I heard it. I well, not. one time. One time. There wasn't nothing that blew me away, but that was the first listen, so I'm not going to kill it. But I do like the short projects in a year like this where people are rushing to put something out just to get something out. Like, at least keep it short so we're not really putting much stock into it. I I listen to it, and there's nothing. To, Big Sean's not clicking to me anymore, and I don't know why. It's Uh-oh. not that he can't rap. Wait, let me get no to Ledge. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> no. Boom. G-H. Boom, 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 boom. L-E. The no, ledger the the ledge. still give me D is before the. Let me see. <laughs> All right. The ledger still be giving me some time. Right, there we go. All right, I ain't know you was gonna do that. Hold up, I'll go out there. I'll step out. Neil Ice and Ish. Here is ice with a hot take. It's not. Here is ice with a hot take that no one will say but ice. That no (laughs) one will say but ice. Gotta love it. Get him ice. Like I said, man, Sean's not clicking, and he hasn't clicked for a long time. And I don't know what like his talent's still there. But everything I listen to, it's just like I wrote yeah. a song called "Click." I put it. They put it on an album. I ain't get paid for it. I'm never clicking again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to click. See what clicking does? <laughs> yes, sir, click, click. Yo, what do you think it is? Wait, production? they gave us I don't click. Know. They gave us clicking in this bandit. <laughs> Yeah, they were supposed to be working on the cool tell, Ain't stuff. nobody fucking with my click. Uh, click. Uh, click. The click wasn't that fucking shit. with each other. <laughs> the click unclicked. I hate when that happens. <laughs> It happens. I'm shutting up. It does happen. Give me ice. This your take. Take it away. Again, I I don't have much bad to say about Sean. It's just the music is not clicking, and I I can't I can't even figure why. And you're a big big Sean fan. Yes, I am. But the last project of his that worked for me Uh was Dark Sky Paradise, and that was 2015. He's dropped multiple projects since. Yes. I go in, I listen, and I'm just like "Eh, nothing. I don't. I don't know. You think it's a production thing or something? The pro- I like the production on this album. Mm. And on, like I mean, on this EP. Excuse me. On um the this current one. Uh-huh. Uh huh. What is it? What What you expect is the name of it. Oh. Uh, I'm not. It's Hit Boy. Right. I like the production. I don't know what it is. It's if it's his flow. Did Hit Boy I, give all the good beats to Nas? Are the beats the problem? I haven't heard this yet, so I'm just guessing. No, the beats were. No, I, 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 there were, there were a couple beats that I liked on here. Um, so I'm, I'm not. Gonna say he gave all his best beats to Nas. I'm not gonna say that. He he still got some shit in the tub that he saved for Sean. I don't know what it is. I really I know y'all are gonna be call me a hater or whatever, but I can't put my finger on it. It's just Big Sean's music does not. Are there any features click. on here? Uh, uh, he got Dirk and Bryson Tiller on the record, and then he got Babyface Ray and Forty Two Doug on the record. See, that's one of my problems already. Where are all of the niggas that was Big Sean's friend during that click era? Mm. Any of them. It mm. wasn't Dirk, Bryson, 42 Doug, and Babyface Ray. All respect to those gentlemen, of course. But where the fuck is 2 chains any of them at? Mm. He might have wanted to dissociate himself from them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Fair, I suppose. Or he might be saving them for his album. Yeah. This is just this, this is just a teaser. That's why I'm not holding this against him like that. This is just something I'm neither throughout. Will, neither will I if it's just a teaser and he's now in a new business venture where mm-hmm. he takes more yeah, of the pie. Te- the teaser's mm-hmm. supposed to be fire too, though. Yeah, but the teaser is what makes you now want to go fuck with the album. Correct. Correct. This is like I'm s- sample. It's a teaser with one producer. Uh, this ain't Sean, like, getting into his... Did you like the last album, though, that was a full length? Detroit 2? Is that what it was? I don't remember. Yeah. That was, that was the last. And, and did you like the uh, freestyle that he dropped? That well, that's on. This, we didn't talk about that. That's last on this week. project. That's the last. Oh, one. I didn't hear the project yet. Okay, yeah, that's the last record on there. Um, back to your point. Uh, your question, Detroit Two. Oh, I hate that. Then I hate that. It ain't well, got but you, that's six. It's a six pack. You couldn't drop something new at the freestyle, mm-hmm. but whatever. Um, I didn't like. Not a big deal. I didn't like Detroit Two that much. There were maybe four records, if I'm not mistaken, that I liked that stood out to me, but. 
I think this was a long project too. It was. It was twenty yeah. songs. Yeah, and with four. What I what I might enjoy a little more than this this project when I get to it. I'm enjoying Big Sean and Hit Boy doing interviews together and at the same time, seemingly addressing some of their Kanye beef. Not beef, but issues. Where it went wrong. Okay. I didn't see any of the interviews. Yeah, I didn't see any of those. Um, Hit Boy has some issues. Well, Big Sean has been tweeting. I did see that. Yes. Mm-hmm. The, you saw the I tweets. miss being in a crew and. Yeah, but then the latest tweet was something like they asked him about uh, his affiliation with good music. He said, that's a brotherhood, but I worked my way out of that contract to get a bigger piece of the pie. That was the latest tweet. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he's not shying away from, no, not at all. And he's not shying away from having those discussions. So now what that also says for me as a consumer, that consumers don't give a fuck about. I know fans don't care about this. If you take me from Kanye, then you take me from Kanye leverage at the label, and he has all the leverage. He gets any, he's greenlit, gets anything cut, mm-hmm. whatever he wants. Mm-hmm. Push your toe less. There wasn't no money left for that album cover you wanted to do, and Kanye said, no, yes, it is. We're going to get this done. You just said, shut up. <laughs> We're going to put this here. So when you roll out a project, or when you're rolling something out, or when you're looking for attention from your home, it's just going to look a little different without that backing that's back to that cosign I was talking about last pod um but Sean is big enough to where he doesn't need one now Mm -hmm. but even so I can't wait to see what he does moving forward and if you get a bigger piece of the pie maybe you care a little less about the visibility and being on the main stage especially when you've had the career he has he's done number ones Mm -hmm. so hundreds of millions of singles and records Mm -hmm. Sean is fine that's what I was about to say if you're getting a bigger piece of the pie he's rich he's in love you he's get, successful. Yeah, he's, he's happy. And he's doing projects with his man. Right. And, and his man is seeing all the success in the world everywhere else. And even if I felt like Sean didn't want to reach out to somebody for a feature, his hit boy, I'm sure he can get whatever feature he wants. I think they'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. And that's my take without hearing this project yet. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. I think Sean's going to be fine. And yeah. Like I said, I'm not even holding this against him. I don't know what it is where the music isn't really clicking like that for me, but... It does, like I said, he don't take away from his talent or anything. There's just a little bit of a lack of identity. I feel like that's that's kind of what I felt with this project and the project before. Is it's just a dope beat and dope rhymes. Well, but Sean also told us that he's been having bouts with depression. No doubt. So let's hear about it though. Can can be hard to identify yourself sure. when you're going through those things. He's not alone in that. I recently heard Chance the Rapper express something similar. It's been quiet with about Chance. all about Steve. Well. Should you be loud when you're depressed? No, no, I'm just, <laughs> that's that's, that's, I'm saying that makes sense. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, And that's why I don't question it when some of these guys go quiet, because it's like, I understand, you're either depressed or you're doing illegal shit. It's one or the other. <laughs> or you just not, or you're just out here getting a different type of Yeah, yeah. some, of, some of these cats back. ain't been loud to begin with, yeah. so they just be quiet it's until it's time for them to pop out. It's not many of us that can afford to go quiet. Chance could. Mm-hmm. He's been doing it. He's done it. But you might d- yeah. jump off into other shit. Chance is philanthropic. Stop it's fucking. my word. No, That's not. That's my new word. That you made up. How come <laughs> every word was made up at some point? <laughs> you, in, they made, you Native American. They made, <laughs> you start using hey. your word. <laughs> they made Converse a word, right? No. No, they did. Yes, they did. No. Yes, they did. Please say no. They did. Yes, they did. It's a yes, word. They, did. Uh, they made it a word now. Told you. See, and I was saying it first. Oh, no, <laughs> they made it a word ish. Um, all right, so I am gonna get around to that big Sean That's project. Crazy. Shout out to Sean, shout out to Hit Boy Friends of the show. Um, of course, I woke right up looking for the R and B and boy did I find it. New Mario featuring Chris Brown. <laughs> hey, I love Mario, by the way. I love him. He needs a proper versus yeah, opponent. He needs a versus opponent. He does. Hmm? Hey. Why? Come on, I'll cut it. You can play it, man, because Chris doing Chris. Chris <laughs> doing Chris. He going crazy. Uh, Mario dropping this tells me that he's got something coming soon, and I buy every Mario project. So if you're like me, get excited. Something is coming. And he, and he afforded Chris Brown on single. Mario don't miss on singles, man. He don't. So Alina Perez dropped an uh, EP or something, too. 
in the R&B. No, no, we good. Yeah, while we're, knows, while we're on R&B. He knows. Fam. <laughs> Who are you Fam. talking he, to right he here? He knows. We, 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 we get into that. That's probably we, your sleeper. We, we, going, we, going through, we going through some things first. We start with Mario and Chris. Uh, we segue to Kevin Ross, who dropped. It's my man. I love Kevin Ross. Another one of the newer R&B. It's not so new, but another one of the R&B acts that dropped frequent enough for my liking. Is it smooth? Sound nice. Yeah, I might have to put some gas in my car this weekend, man. I might have to pull out the driveway on these dudes. <laughs> Wait a minute! Come on, I got y'all. I got y'all. R&B playlist coming soon, hopefully. No, nah, that's happening. That guy is awesome. Shout out to Kev Ross, friend of the show. New project out right now. He drop about every four to six months. I love that about him. Um, also now, I told it, y'all. To leave that woman alone. I did. Alina Perez. I told y'all. I told y'all that she ain't one of them. She is not for play play. And she dropped some shit a couple months ago. Might have might, might even been last month. Yeah, it was like, it was fast. And it was fire. But it was a different bop. I appreciate that she's able to switch bops. If you in this subgenre of music, you have to be aware of Alina Baraz and what she's doing because it's phenomenal. And this one here, oh my God. This Moongate shit right here, she really does these little four song EPs well and she does them often. Listen. Oh, in the rain? No, don't listen to it alone. <laughs> but don't listen to it alone. Call somebody up. Call an ex. Call somebody you've wronged. Apologize. Call somebody whose company you enjoy. Call somebody you could drape in your arms and covet with love and affection. Call somebody you can get a pedicure, play some footsies with, stay at the rain. Damn, isn't the sky beautiful today, baby? Like, get into that bag. Whoa! Yo, this hits different if it's not four dicks listening. Yeah, I was gonna say in a room full of dudes, this ain't really the No, no, I know it's and I know it's a room back there full of dicks too. But if it's vagina around, if it's feminine femininity, what's the word? Femininity around soft skin around. If one of them get around Especially you be like, oh, you got so soft skin. What you mean? People always been telling me that my whole life, but like, but the other I thought all skin was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought all skin was soft. Yeah, but come on, this. <laughs> Let me show you something hard. <laughs> Let me show you the spot on my body where skin is soft. Well, only for a minute. <laughs> only. Let's go get hard real quick. All right, man. Yo, that whole EP is fire. That whole project is fire. Yeah, I copped it. I didn't listen yet. She's one of them. Cheers. You got you got to cop it without listening, man. She's fire. Shout out to Alina Baraz. We love you. Can't wait to hear what you got next. I can't wait to see her in concert. I have mm. to go to one of them. That's my thing. Twenty twenty two. I told y'all it's concerts. Concerts only. I ain't mad at you. I could save the strip club money and, and invest and do some other things. I ain't mad at you. There you go. I ain't mad at that. Now I want to go to a mad event like basketball. All that shit. Games, concert, Games, all that shit. Yeah, concerts. Yeah. Uh-huh. Activities. My mom now is is beating me down about these Isley Brothers uh, concerts. They're in Atlantic City, uh, November sixth, somewhere around there. Mm. She has some good shows coming. Up. Earth, Wind, and Fire coming out here too. I was gonna send my mom to it. That's that bad. Now you talking? Mm-hmm. I said now, 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 now yeah. you talking now. They are. I, I'll let you know. They out here though. Yeah, please. Um, music, music. A lot of, lot of hip hop came out. A lot. Rome Streets and Ransom Drop. Coop to Grace. Ran round of applause. Hold up. All right. Another beautiful project. Uh, Mick Jenkins dropped the Bill Project. I only heard about oh, half hip-hop, of it. Hip hop, hip hop. Hip hop, hip hop. Oh, let's go then. Yep. Uh, Reese. Shout Reason. out to Mick. Reese dropped. Sorry, yeah. A little three pack. A little three pack. I like you it. Got a joint Wally. I like crazy. it. I like it. I like it. Let's go, Reese. Yeah, I mean. Young uh, Miami. I didn't hear that one. But you oh, can put me on. Well, I'll play it whenever you finish. Nah, you go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> All right. Now, Ice <laughs> is teasing me because I purchased this song. I'm not. Come on. That's not why I teased you. No? No, not because you bought it. Yeah, come on. Elaborate. I, Elaborate. Well, he going to play it. And then, and then you'll tell why? No, you'll hear why. 
I'm I ain't a, gotta say nothing. I'm playing it, and I go. and I bought it. So I don't, I don't care what y'all got to say about me. I support QC. Same. And I support the women's. I'm Same. A, I'm a minimus. The women's. I'm a minimus. So what that mean though? A minimus? No, no, no. What that mean? You saying you support the women's? So you just blindly support no matter what, like good or bad, don't matter. No, if it's if 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 you put out some fire, I'm not gonna not buy it because you wanted the girls. So what happened if you don't put out some fire? Like even if it's not necessarily relating to me, like I came in here and played that Cardi album like I had a pussy. That Cardi album was fire though. I'm talking about not fire. I'm talking about when me they and put Parks out something was calling it one album of the year and, and got our by. head kicked in yep. until I'm, I'm the award y'all. award uh, boards agreed with us. Yeah. It was that year. We're minimus. We we, no, we no, fuck no. with the women's when it's fire and when it's corny. We we try to shut up and mind our business because that's on y'all. Oh okay. But everybody okay. ain't fire. Okay. Uh, so this is Young Miami, rap freaks, and I guess this is her version of an old to dreams from Biggie, where she's just talking about the young baddies that she want to fuck. Or oh, Lil Kim did it too. Yeah, Lil Kim did it. Mm-hmm. Dream Doll did it. This is gonna be around for a while. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's hear her version. I'm going to cut it off because y'all are not gyrating your hips and shaking your shoulders like I was when I I heard it this morning. So I guess I'll toss it to my co-host and see what you guys think. Nice. What did you think about that? (laughs) (laughs) Well, he said part of being a, what is it, minimist? What's the word? Look at this guy. Minimist. Minimist. Part of being a minimist it's is the when male it's not of, fire of is to just shut the fuck up, right? Ah, ah. When they put out something that's trash, you shut the fuck up. Uh huh. So, I just want to say I don't think you or us are her target audience with this song. I don't song. think so. I don't think so either. So I'm so I'm, I'm so give me your opinion on what you think her target audience might think about this if you're able to. Can you separate how you feel from what you think the the women's might feel when they hear this, or they hear the names and they're gonna love it? The beat. No, they hear the it's, names and they're going to love it. I like the beat. I like the beat too. Okay. The name so, sold me. The story has sold me. She's taken every picture with Puff and just, just she's just been looking away recently. I like it. I like it. I was sold. Fuck it. I know. I know y'all hate it. Fuck, come on, let's move on. I'm staying out of women's business. Come on, let's move on. Forget it. Forget it. Megan dropped a tape of Freestyles. I ain't listened to that one yet either. Uh, I feel like it's in the same conversation. My, my business. <laughs> I don't think it's in the same conversation. I don't think so at Meg, all. shit is old, old joints. This girl is preparing for. She's preparing for something with a new, with a new record and a new sounds. My first time really hearing her outside her group. I was, I was gonna say, I'll ask that. I don't. Are, are they prepared, that. Are they trying to separate? Not, it, not split. If you, I don't know. But I'm establish not, I'm different. Not, wait, let me, sure. let me. Let me. Go ahead. Are Are they trying to establish like separate identities musically? Because I did notice on. Um, Summer's record, it's just JT. Uh-huh. Quavo has a song with just Quavo and Young Miami, and now we get a Young Miami record. Like, are they trying to do the Slim Jimmy? Uh, what's the other gentleman's name? Uh, Sway Lee. Lee. Sway Lee. Are they well, trying to do that thing? Don't where do that to Sway Lee. Don't say been, don't, yo. Sway don't say Slim Jimmy off rip and say what's the other gentleman's. Name? I have to do that. The fuck was that? I had to. Why? Because when they dropped their separate projects, one was good, oh, one you like wasn't, Slim and they Jimmy's disappeared. Better than Sway Lee's. And they owe me music, so I'm still mad with them. <laughs> they owe the me fuck? music. <laughs> Sway Lee said music is coming, and I can't wait. Okay, we just, the he summer's over. He, he ain't been quiet this long for nothing. Sway Lee don't just got to drop in the summer. No, well, I need it in the summer. I don't want to hear that shit in the wintertime when it's cold out. I need summer music from them. I Pool like party dropped, music. They dropped some fire winter music. Before, yeah, I think Sway like Lee can get in a real fire moody bag if you feel like it. Yeah. I do. I do. I'm just telling you what I think. But yeah, I was just asking, is, is that what, Probably. What I would say the answer is yeah. I, if I'm I not mad to, at if it. If I, I had to it. guess, I'm sure that's not a bad idea to either one of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm not mad at it. Their brand together is established. Mm-hmm. Why would it hurt to go get some fucking Try to get some solo, solo shit money. popping. Yeah. I ain't mad at that in, in the slightest. Just a question. Like I said, I'm not mad and at it. I and understand it. It look. makes sense. Look how much better she looked. Yeah, this is, the record, with, this is the record with her and Quavo. Go ahead, girl. Man, fuck it up. I'm happy for her. I never heard this record because this oh. ain't my bag. But go ahead. I'm happy for them. Round of applause. God damn it. I'm supporting the women's that's dope. City Girls, Flo Millie, the women's that need my support. Seem like all the women's just fuck with the three big women's and there's mad women's out there. Nah. So, whatever. Well, what else we got music? Just- it's don't want to say nothing. 
Ice is our resident uh, French Montana expert. Did you like the French single? <laughs> I didn't hear the French single yet. It's actually pretty dope. I like it way better than the uh, first one that he dropped. Oh, fuck with me. Get a bag. Yeah, I didn't yeah. like. All right. Do you have it, Joe? Uh, I really don't care, no. Okay. I got it. If you All want right, to hear Parks it. got it. Yeah, there we go. Because I didn't hear this. But I heard he's dropping an album called They Got Amnesia. And I like where you're going with that. Hey, hey, hey. Top three snipe with cut it off, cut this off, cut this off. Yeah. Whoa, 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 I threw some hate on it. I was like, damn, in this dirty water. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you would do that? Why not just drive? <laughs> what a fucking hater. Shout out to French, man. He put his list out there. He said top three snipers. Did yeah. you hear the names on the list? Yeah. I want to know who else he think is on that sniper list. I oh, it's one name that got to stay there. Okay, got it. He got to stay. But who's, who's the other one he got there? It's a couple. I don't know who. I'm just talking about who. He might have. I know who number one is on that list. <laughs> I wonder who two is on that list. That's interesting. Interesting. I got to ask him one day. Shout out to French. Shout yes, to French. Nice. I actually like that one. Oh, Iggy and Cabo. Bitch, I've been. Yeah, come on. No, so not, wait, so wait, 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 wait. You ain't hear what he said? Wait. Oh, no. What Came is through he a doing? Yeah, shut down no. City Island. Sanaa so Lathan, Demi Lovato, Did Iggy and Cabo. Bitch, yeah. I've been viral. Come on, man. Top three, top three, top three snipes. I took a time off. Now they got amnesia. Like I ain't do it. Uh, like what? I ain't do it with an African visa. <laughs> no. Nah. Okay. Can't stop can't stop talking shit. Yeah. I like that record. I like that. Oh, I might have to get. I might have to shake my head from that. Come on. Oh. I ain't even got no African visa. Now. You know what prompted all of this, right? Nah. So there was a. Um, the little squid, squid game, game thing of yeah. jiggy that said name, name five, five French solo record. I didn't know that prompted. Well, this. his response was, you know what? He ran down his record. He said, and I'm dropping a record with no features on Friday, damn it. Like See, that. I think that was just so timely for yeah. him. Somebody was fucking with him. It oh, worked. I got something coming. Let me tag on to this. I See, that's great. That's great. I like that. Yeah, me too. Then I saw them do the same thing with be a name. Can you name five be a record? The next game, name five be a record. It's stupid. Listen, if anybody knows about the fans in those stupid games, it's, it's me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the one that, that those games started with. All right, you got a gun to your head and someone says name seven Joe Budden. So like, yeah, no, just shut the fuck up, all right? Just shut the fuck up. Nobody's putting a gun in your head and saying that. I hate it here. Um, all right, so that's it. That's it for music. Uh, yeah, that's so, all I got music. Yeah, listen, I'm, 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 I'm going to have to ride Oh, out the soundtrack. The Harder They Fall soundtrack. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to let y'all skate out of that. All right, Jesus. Not gonna let y'all skate out of that. What you thought, Ice? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, first of all, tell the people why we're talking about soundtrack song and why we seem to be excited about this. The Harder They Fall soundtrack came out. I don't even know what movie that is. Oh, that's the movie. The Harder yeah, They Fall. Yeah, yeah, they did the whole. Mm -hmm. And this is on Netflix? Or it's in a movie? The movie. Game? I think the movie is gonna be on Netflix. Maybe so. I don't know. All right. And this but is a this song. This is the soundtrack. From that soundtrack. Yes. Or the whole soundtrack is out? The whole soundtrack, the whole soundtrack is, out. is out. And this is a song with Conway, Conway, Kiss, Jada Hove. Kiss, and Hove. Who did the beat? Do we know? Uh, the guy did the whole soundtrack, and it's someone that I had not heard of. Oh, got it. So I don't know if he was like the composer or something like that. Let me get his name proper. James Samuels? Samuel? I'm, it's fine. Just play it. Just just play it for the people. Let's, let's hear a little bit of this. Get a little dose. A little dosey dose? also featuring yeah, Or you can not G. play it. I don't want to. And we can move on. No, you can play and it. talk about anything in the world <laughs> besides this. Play this. You can play any other sound, too. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. There, there you have it. There, there you have it. That's brand new music. It's brand new music. All right, so what else we got? Yo. Come on, Joe. Yo. Come on, Joe. Play No The Ledge. That one is called King Kong Rhythm. <laughs> Come on, get the ledge off ready. Of the, off of the you ain't gonna Harder like, They Fall you soundtrack. You ain't gonna like to get a bar? <laughs> Yo, it's kiss. It's kiss. Come on. Everybody in the world called Jada Kiss after he won the 
took the verses again <laughs> after the locks won the verses. His phone hasn't stopped ringing. No. I'm not mad. He was on his way to the gas station. Phone rang. Y'all got a soundtrack bag for you. All right. Nah, I'll, it's I'll him and Ho. All right. Somebody called with a soundtrack <laughs> bag and, and niggas took it. Hey, I know how the soundtrack bag yeah, yeah, yeah. go. Yeah. So I'm not going to be too harsh on this soundtrack record. Uh, but uh, Or maybe this is one of those things where the song will be better after you see the movie or it'll make more sense once you see the movie. Or it just might sound good in the sound cabin. Uh, it's not going to play no. the sound cabin. <laughs> or they should, Jay should send his vocals to 40 like he did for Pound Cake and have 40 do some jazz with jazz around it. I don't know what was going on here. Yeah. But. <laughs> it wasn't the most audi- audibly pleasant experience. That's what it was. That's what it was. It seemed like that shit was mixed in the junk drawer. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it was loose. <laughs> I don't really understand what they was doing with that mix right there. But that was supposed to be that wild, you know, because it's King Kong rhythm, oh, name of the record. So it's supposed King to sound on or rhythm. Okay. Yeah, rhythm. I'm going to blame the producer on that one. Because <laughs> Fabian mixed it. He's a fucking amazing mixer. I'm not going to assess blame. I'm just not going to listen to that again. <laughs> It's no one's fault but my own. I'm not going to listen to that. It's my ears' fault. Jazz Mataz. Those, I'm not going to do that to yourself no more. Those nah. phony, you, you give me those Kanye, see that? I was, out. I was pretty disappointed when I pressed Kanye play at 1202. Oh, you went to this one first. You yeah, get, absolutely. It, what are you talking about? Oh, man. All right, we can move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> what I said to myself at 1203. <laughs> yeah. I would have went to it at 1202, too. Yo, but now Ice is telling me that we, we got a rap brief, rap beef brewing. From this song right now. Y'all Wait. sick of me. Y'all sick of me. So I just tell it. Y'all sick of me with rap beef. I see your comments. Oh, you perpetuating shit. You're not for unity. You're not for peace. You're corny with that. We tired of your shit. So guess what? Everybody loves each other. It's my new take. Ice may see something or hear something different. I'm tossing it to him. I think all these guys are friends. They have to be. They work together, do music together, and make videos together. And they know each other's Instagrams and phone numbers. So they have to be the best of friends. We see them at the shows and festivals all the time together. We see them in each other's Insta stories and shit. They have to be friends, right? Or not. Like I said, it could be some, I think it's some rap beef brewing in, in this verse in here, man. It, and this is the Conway this verse. Is Conway's verse. I that think- says, and we quote, them subliminals on Twitter don't really rattle my cage. Notice when I, excuse me, notice when I mentioned my release date, had them afraid. Ha. 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 I think that's in <laughs> response like old to somebody who may, have, who may or may not have <laughs> tossed some subliminals his way on Twitter. That sounds like he is inspired by one of you niggas out there. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's just... Rapping the rap. Uh, I don't think that's just one of those. Let me toss this out and there. And I'm not going to expound. No, me neither. Y'all already think I'm crazy enough. Nope, I'm chilling. But, but I'm going to I'm I'm watch be, it, though. But Yeah, I'm going to watch it. And, <laughs> because, I, and I'm going to be right. And I'm going to come in and tell y'all I was right in what I was thinking that I never told y'all. But I'm right. We right. We no, right. No, no, no. We right with this one. It's brewing. Mm. And it's, it's a good one. one. Yeah, yeah. This, this Ooh, is a, this is a good one. I ain't mad. That it would be a good one. We like this that one. That would be good yeah. one. Yeah. Hey, 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 both these niggas gonna rap. <laughs> That's true. Both these niggas gonna rap. That's yes, true. sir. Every other a lot. day. Probably every yeah. other day. Every other day. Oh, no, they, oh, no, they coming. Probably every other day. They coming. Every other day. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually yeah, surprised yeah. I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this record I, been out how long? <laughs> some, 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 somebody gonna get Pharrell's diss beat folder. <laughs> Wait. I wouldn't want any trouble with that one. Ooh, can't Ooh, wait. Do you yeah. hear the uh, Pharrell and Fur record? Mm. No, I did not. That's pretty dope. Play it. I want to hear it. Let's play all the music. Pirating. (laughs) Pirating. Piracy. No, this is promotion, man. Promotion. Piracy promotion. All right, all right. All right. That shit's kind of tough. That's hard. Yeah. It's really hard. That's Pharrell's the greatest. That's wow. really, really hard. Pharrell's the greatest. That's mean right there. Wow. This is a Neptune Stan account. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, that's that's different. That shit sounded crazy. Yeah. 
Turn Sound up. like Pharrell was in the club, heard a drill set, and was like, is that what they're doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. That? <laughs> All right. Okay. Watch this. I think, yeah. think, I, think I could swing it. I got, I got I something in the house that could. A little jazz with Taz. <laughs> jazz something up. That's me. After my yogurt tonight. That's me. <laughs> you know what? After I eat my yogurt tonight, I'll go downstairs in the basement and mess and fool around. <laughs> After I eat my yogurt or do my yoga? Both. 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 <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. How do you follow up to yoga? Yogurt. I think I'm stupid, yo. I'll see if I can ready us ready something up for fur. I just saw him yesterday. <laughs> like, I want to hear Pharrell's thoughts. Now nah, that's hard. That shit came yeah. on. Yeah, that's hard. I want to hear that right. out somewhere all right. loud. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re- really, really loud. That shit came out early. I put it on while I was mixing the show. Somebody like, needs to send uh, Bobby Schmurder Pharrell's number. Yeah, that's how you got to come out of jail. That yeah, that I, beat. I agree with that. That noise, yeah. that sound. I'm I'm back. That bigness. I'm back. To bigness, the another word I made yeah, up. Yeah, yeah that large. It just has to be like that. Did you hear Bobby's record? No, he dropped the record too last. Well, this week today. <laughs> Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Might work. You, it might. They need a remaster listen, for listen, sure. Listen, records be working that I don't be knowing it's going to work because I'm old. Like, the spot them, got them, shit, I'd have never called that shit. That shit hard, though. But I would have never I, I get called it. that. So he might be in, touch, in tune with something that I'm not in tune with, so I'll wait to see. But I would have loved to hear him on that Ferg beat. Yeah, I'd even like to hear a, re- a remix with him on that. Him and him and uh, Rowdy. Yeah, I like to hear Rowdy on it. This just sound mm. too smooth for what I know. Bobby yeah. and them, like I need energy. Yeah, he the most energetic dude in the world. To start some drums or something for me. That beat is hard for like an album cut or something. But I, uh, uh, whatever. Whatever, moving right along, man. We done with music? Yeah, I think so. Play, yeah, that's, that's it. We, that's we, it. We, we, we all played music out. Don't play out. no more music. No, we yeah, music yeah. out. That's it. No more music. Yeah, if I didn't buy it, it's because I didn't want to hear that shit. And just because I pod <laughs> don't mean I got to play it for everybody. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. But well, they be out. looking for us to, you know, talk about certain shit. So, But we got the music Nigga, out Y'all talk about it and upload to YouTube so I can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> about that and do that with every album that drop yeah. right tell me everything you think about all and we're gonna get real mad if you don't cover everything in detail yo if you miss something we on your yeah. ass yeah yeah alright so we done with music uh, what do y'all wanna get to next uh, the metaverse yeah nah, I thought Jada Pink was more fun <laughs> okay <laughs> that might be the metaverse yes, you ain't said know. a word on par what's up man you alright yeah I'm good I was just waiting for the topics there you go. He's waiting for the good stuff. It's like, yeah, let that music. Yeah, yeah. He ready to crack let muffins. Music he don't care about that music by, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he I ready to crack, crack muffins. I don't play that music jive on my. <laughs> that music <laughs> my jive F-150. on my I head. No radio. F- F- I don't have no radio. Yeah. F- Fuck 50. music. He, yeah, his ears don't even hear music. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened now? All right, now this was just a, like a headline. I guess Jada Pinkett Smith uh, was just discussing how it's tough to maintain a sex life in a marriage when you've been with somebody for as long as she's been with Will. I can imagine. And the headlines distorted that a little bit to say that she was kicking his back in, but she just was talking to Jada, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith opening up again about uh, sex life. Here she goes. It's hard, she said. The thing Will and I talk about a lot is the journey. We started in this at a very young age, you know, 22 years old. That's why the accountability part really hit for me because I think you expect your partner to know what you need, especially when it comes to sex. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know me. If you love me, you should read my mind. And that's a huge pitfall. End quote. Gwyneth Paltrow was on the show. And Gwyneth Paltrow has a new show out called uh, Sex, Love, Sex, Sex, Love, Love and, and Goop. Goop or something like that. Okay. Supposed- Goop? Yeah, supposedly it's Goop. amazing. I, I was in college. That's the white woman's junk drawer. <laughs> <laughs> goop. Goop. Yeah, go, go get out the goop. <laughs> she's right there. Oh, man. But um, oh, man. she's getting crucified because. The headline. Will's had a little rough two years or so. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say. She could leave him alone, headline. though. Nah, it's just some shit I guess people look at. Like, you got to leave that in the tuck. You can't just be out publicly talking about how disappointing your sex life may be with. You know what I mean? Did but you, I don't think she said disappointing in that. Did she use the word disappointing? I'm trying to find out where they she got did. the headline because I every quote when they when I finally saw her actual quote, I didn't see that headline. Right. 
So I'm like, where did they get the headline from out of the quotes? I don't. They I didn't watch the show. They made it up so people would click the article. And I mean, this was yeah, like some no. super clickbait shit here because yeah. I was ready to go in. Right. But I say, let me read. Oh, look at you and, being responsible. Well, yeah, you know, we have Word a platform change. here. We got to, you know, we can't just <laughs> jump true. off the clickbait. We got to be responsible true. here. So I'm, Yeah, you I'm, mean not like when Ish made us talk about the Simpsons and Hove shirt, right? <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Ish did that. Okay. <laughs> Boy, this guy. <laughs> Yo, I certainly ahead. never saw that and didn't bring it to anyone's attention before the pod. That was it. Who else wanted it? But go ahead. But yeah, so I, I just don't understand where they got the headline from the quote. That was it. So, I mean, yeah, Jada does have him looking crazy a lot. That's unfortunately, true. I, I, think, I don't I think she can still give him a break. Times. I don't think she was. She said in there was crazy or probably wrong after what she said 25 years of marriage. Like, yeah. Getting it popping in the bed is probably a little bit difficult, but she could probably leave that part alone for a little while. Let the man just. You know, make his little Instagram videos in peace. Just <laughs> shut up. Be inspirational. You can't tell women to shut up. But just <laughs> let, let her be. Let everything her be don't have to be shared, man. We in a time of over, over, over sharing. Yeah. Like, I don't need to know what's going on in y'all bedroom. Good or bad. I don't need to know about the entanglement. Yeah. There's a lot we just don't need to know about them. I don't need to know that you're still in love with Tupac. <laughs> you know... The same way I there's go. an old Wayne, there's an old Gucci. Hip-hop does that to us. We we take the version of you we liked, and we say that's the old version of you, and this new shit you're doing is something different. They try to put that on Bobby when he was wine, wine she hole. They try to say that's not new Bobby. This is new Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm. This sure. is not our Jason's lyric, Jada Pinkett Smith. I don't think our issue is with this. Our issue is like y'all said, every six months she kicks Will's back in and she's been celebrating Pac's birthday and death day. And she's everything. <laughs> Publicly for the last 10 years. Now I'm not mad at like having some real discussions, but you could give the guy a break. All right, well, you could me, give the guy a break. All right, well, let me have the real discussion. And I could go left or seem, right It's going to seem insensitive. Let me get this out and get this whole shit canceled and then I'll toss it right to you so they think it you. <laughs> Listen, there's a statute of limitations on your grieving for your ex that passed. There's a statute of limitations on that. Sorry. I know it sounds it sounds horrible, but there is. It, uh, it's not. It might not be. But you don't got to do it publicly. Right. Every year. There's a way to do it, and there is a statute of limitations on it. And who house win? Mine? <laughs> That goes to what I've been saying for the longest. Well, I'm take not, the foot. I'm not joking. Put it I'm down. not joking. Now I'm not saying it as <laughs> cute as it should be said, but I've woken up in a house with a significant other where a, a chef was making breakfast, everything was lit, it was perfect, and her face was a little sad. You know, you recognize your partner face me and say, Hey girl, what's wrong? Is everything all right? <sighs> Today was the day that Raheem. It's like, do I know Raheem? <laughs> the other nigga from Juice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's Raheem, baby? Somebody we met before? No. Like, is it a friend of the family? Like, is somebody, what happened? To... No, it's my first love. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh. What did I say? Out loud? <laughs> no, I don't want to hear that. I one. said, no, I'm super. I'm, oh my God, that's horrible. I'm super sorry to hear that. I know that's got to be tough. Let me know if you need anything. You give me the other one. You should go on Gwyneth oh, Paltrow's no, 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 show. No, no, no. What you said you say in your head? The chef making eggs over easy, bitch. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> smell like turkey sausage. See, my head. My head's like, why does she think I care about that? <laughs> It's like when the fans come up to you, oh my God, take a picture with me, it's my birthday. And I say, sure, but in my head, I don't care. <laughs> I don't even know you. Like, Yo, you are. Come on, That's on. different, man. No, like, it's not. <laughs> why do people, why are we so entitled that we expect other people to give a fuck about the things that we can talk oh, about, man? Because they love us and they care. Oh, stumped them. No, you're talking to the guy that at around year seven in my career, I wanted to ask the fans that were asking for pictures if they had receipts for purchasing of Joe Budden Project. <laughs> That's what you're talking to. You didn't stop me. I just didn't want to reveal that. Because <laughs> there's no way all of them going to come say, yo, I'm the biggest fan. 
I love you so much. Blah, 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 blah. See, these new kids now, they say, all right, what's your favorite song? Rap it for me. They say they do something like that. Mm. I, we were stupid. We didn't do that. We were just signing away. Autographs. Autographs don't exist no more. But imagine having to stop and sign an autograph. Yeah, but she you know what, Joe? That, that, that signing of that autograph could turn that person into a fan. They just be so happy to meet somebody nah, famous. That ass, that's why I feel like that. Honestly. Honestly, that's why I feel exactly like that. Because that's real shit. It's <laughs> a fucking jerk. Yo. That's why you, you sold all them albums. Is you got any muffins to crack on this? Uh... <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. Um, now nah, the Jada shit. I... Entertainment purpose is okay. Yo, it, could go, it could go left and right for me. It could go. Um... Man, stop talking about old dick when I'm around, and stop talking about my dick. Yeah, this no. Unless you say my dick. Is no, I was part. about to say, fam. Like, she's right. But after, but tw- shut up about it. After yeah, twenty years, now you're right. But shut and up supposedly it. they have the most open relationship in the history of the mankind. <laughs> you don't have to have him read your mind when you guys are so transparent and you guys are so open and you guys are so. Hey, go call R and B singer. Everything that they say they stand for is openness and transparency and blah 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 blah. I'm sir, I'm serving her ass at NDA right at the dinner. Table. <laughs> <laughs> as, soon enough, as, enough. as soon as we get to dinner tonight. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm serving your ass right up at NDA. I got to. Because you're wilding out too much. To, yeah, you're well within your right to talk about whatever from the marriage, and you have a talk show. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and a big one. So, mm-hmm. And you Hollywood elite. So, you should be able to talk. My whole thing is this. After that August debacle, you got to shut the fuck you up. You should keep me out of your shit. You got to <laughs> shut yeah, the fuck yeah. up. You should talk about all the womanly shit. Yeah. Unless. Big BBLs, little BBL, BBLs, family trauma, whatever you want to do. But I, my name should be out of that. I had to come sit down on that show with the with red the stink eyes. face. With the red eyes. With the stink face yeah. and be family Unless supportive when I didn't want to. She might. Yo, if, if she don't, not saying she don't love him, but. Shut up. Well, you no. Think she, you think she's pulling the let me get him to break up with me move? Fam, I don't care what you talking about. Love don't do that. I'm talking about. It's kind of clear who her. You know, you believe people no, say I they said got she they, don't no, love no, him. I didn't say that. I didn't, oh, I, you said unless she uh, don't love him. Pardon. You know how people say you know they have their person, quote unquote. If let's just say to her, Pac was her person. He did. Oh, okay, but you're not. Rest my, in peace to Tupac is yes, what he's okay. saying. I'm sure. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's both Tupac's my one A. So no, but I'm what I'm her. saying with that is, if this is my person, you ain't him. Mm-hmm. No, I love and I respect you, and I should put you on a pedestal, especially publicly. It ain't that many men on the planet that, on paper, are Will Smith. And not for nothing, not for nothing. <laughs> Yo, I can see you, if she was doing this on her show, but going to someone else's show and giving them this shit, like, fam, this if you is, at least try to this is, your show pop. No, no. The woman tell you what I read from this show. real talk. I was on her show. Oh, I thought it was on Gwyneth. Pop no, Trails. Gwyneth came on her show. Ah, okay. You want me yeah. to tell you what I read from all of this that she's doing? This is her lemonade, damn near. Like, we'll put her through something. This is get back at this point. That's what I take from this. Like, this is get back. I went, I, I stayed quiet. I went man, through whatever. Man. Now it's my turn. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. I know. And the rabbit had a big gun, allegedly, and was poking your 22-year-old ass. <laughs> <laughs> the 22-year-old rabbit had the, the gun. rabbit was busting in the <laughs> <laughs> Them guns you were shooting in Houston. I don't think Ice is off in his theory. He, he might not be. My story that I'm... Love don't with, do that, my I'm nigga. Love is off I'm love. not going to really talk about this in depth because that is a married couple with a family and this is a big platform. But what I will say is something I've already said. I think that when that August shit was going on, I think we both got a partner. I think you picked one and I picked one. I think that Will, his bright ass, said to her, hey, I see your pick. You sure? That could put some things at risk. I mean, you see what I'm doing. It's cool. quiet, or what I it's, have done. Because you, because right. I, I am gonna assume she knows what he's doing too. There's been rumored names I, and shit. I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna say. I ain't but, gonna say yeah, I'm not doing that. But, but it's blissful. It. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> and she's been quiet. Right. <laughs> she hasn't said a word. Not or, a peep. So now, so listen to this. We men. So speculating here. Your pick went wrong. My pick been chilling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All of my picks. Yeah, all, exactly. Yeah. No, it's an extra beef. We've on the been beef. chilling. Now it's a exactly so, beef, on beef. When I kick it, it's a little of that spice uh, on when I'm kicking it. It ain't just directed to my husband. Uh, it's directed toward my husband happy, and his happy. successful whatever uh-huh. he's doing. When my dude wild out and he told me, and wow, that's my 
what if in my head imagination. So, so running well. I'm going to use your, I'm going to stay on your. Go get your shit off. Your premise. You going to punish me because I'm moving accordingly? You ever met women? <laughs> no, yes. I, I have. Yes. And to answer what? your question, yes. The answer is yes. The answer, the answer is, yes. is yes. The answer is yes. That's crazy. My shit ain't work like that. I know. Joe's going to work? Nah, fuck you. I'm tight. At? I'm tight at me, but I can't. Now you're talking accountability. So I'm tight at you. But no, but that's what they stand for, allegedly, uh-huh. in their relationship. Uh-huh. I got you. That's- like, yo, again, we're going to rock with what Joe's saying. I'm playing, you playing. Uh-huh. Right? My plan is going great. My plan is I'm playing. My, mine staying Mine don't blew up No 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 Mine stay intact Yeah They know how to move In house They moving right Yeah they moving correctly Yours isn't Yours are blown that's gonna, up That's gonna piss the girl off yeah, Exactly The fact that yours Continue to move right and Is she, gonna piss yeah, her off It's gonna make a man She's gonna say something It's gonna piss her off That's the way it goes <laughs> <laughs> We ain't even joking on that it, She's gonna get pissed off at that She gotta just give him a break man I'm going to shut. Give him a break I'm with the transparency for at least, a, at least a year or two. I don't want my man platform to get canceled. <laughs> you got some shit to say, though. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I can't see how Ish imagine, imagines it differently. Because I can only go by my own personal stuff. You never, you a, a woman has never attempted to punish you for being happy without her or being happier without her? Not when she caused the unhappiness. Oh, you know a woman that thinks she caused the unhappiness? She admitted in her own life that she... Publicly? She admitted something? Mm -hmm. I'm not taking that as her believing things behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she believes. I just know she keeps kicking his back and whenever she gets a microphone. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Will. Give Will a break, man. Will. And what I'll say is... This is what I'll say. I would hope that my wife doesn't speak about me in the manner that Jada Pinky speaks about yeah. Will. Not just that. This is Will fucking Smith, dog. I would want to be, yeah. yeah. We're not giving the man his just due. Let's right. cut the music off. Now right. I'm about to get hot. Uh-oh. Dog, you can't find many Will Smiths in the mm-hmm. world today. Ice and ish. Like, we give women all their props mm-hmm. just due, mm-hmm. which they deserve. Mm-hmm. Find me ten, five, give me three Will Smiths. We don't Will know Smith what he's one done. Of one. Yeah, yeah, we don't know what he's done behind closed doors. We don't. And that's he's the done point. A lot. And but that's the point. We don't well, I know. You meant work movies. No, no, no. I'm no, talking no, about behind closed saying. doors. We don't know. We don't know. Mm-hmm. It's but not common it. knowledge. The world ain't laughing at you like aha, you dumb bi. You you mm-hmm. know, because the world will do that when men do certain stuff. Right. He ain't put his out here on Front Street. So you bought up lemonade? Nah, it's a little different. Can I let me can I offer some resistance? Of course. Not that I agree with it, but you ever had a woman say to you after you cheated or she caught you cheating, uh, yo, uh, you could have did this without embarrassing me. And you think to yourself, yo, nobody knows. Mm-hmm. Only you know. Mm-hmm. Yet you still saying you sh- could have done this without embarrassing me. Just because they feel embarrassed because the girl that you cheating with knows. The public don't know. Nobody knows. Sometimes a woman will want to make you feel embarrassed just because of embarrassment she thinks she's going through. Got you. Go ahead. It don't apply when it's Will Smith. Why? Because the world would have put it on the front page of People magazine like they did hers. No, no, no. I'm saying that I agree, I'm agreeing with you. He held it down. I'm saying that. No, they held it down. Mm-hmm. That don't mean that Jada don't feel like there's embarrassment or she's felt embarrassment. So I'm going to throw it back. Again, all speculation. Yo, we, because always, like I get what Joe was saying. No, like, not, the, no, 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 no. We no. said like the girl knowing might be enough for Jada. Right, right. The girl knowing, like yo, she and she might feel like yo, she ain't even on my level. It, like, dog, she feel like she got one up on me. Always up here pandering. No, that's not a well, panda. Not, that's, that's not a panda. Not a panda in a bear. pandering. If you think I'm pandering, you're not understanding what I'm saying. I've been in that exact situation. I'm not no. pandering to women. I've been there before. You've been in a situation where my quiet cheat or my quiet indiscretion is the same as somebody's public indiscretion. On the front of every major publication on the planet. I've been there where the girl felt that way is what I'm saying. I think that's bullshit. And I think that's a justification. I know, but we can't say that when they feel like that. I know. I can't stand there and say, yeah, that's bullshit. Shut the fuck up. I can't say that. I know. So I'm not pandering. I'm just telling you what I hear when they be doing that Let me tell you what I saw. I saw that man sit at that red table, and I saw his eyes be equally as red as the fucking table, sitting there trying to maintain his composure. 
As, some, as somebody <laughs> called their cheat a, a what? Entanglement. An entanglement. entanglement. She, popularized, she popularized the word entanglement. That's what yeah, I saw. They did, yeah. So we're not gonna sit here and justify and whatever the fuck he did behind closed. Oh, they damn sure did. Wait, you yep. think you think we justifying some shit? That's nah, what you hear we kind of. Yeah, we kind of. It's not justifying. Well, we giving it's women some it. leeway to say, "Yo, you can feel whatever you feel, and men can't tell them how they should feel. You that's can't tell truth. nobody how they could feel. That's about the truth. No. And people don't need justification over their feelings. They could just feel shit. No. People could feel <laughs> shit, and, they, and you could think they're wrong in feeling it, but. No. And that's they could where the be justification right lies. Because I can do anything I fucking want on the planet and I can say, yo, I felt the way. And it's all supposed to go away because I felt the way. Not necessarily go away, but it's can't all nobody, supposed can't to nobody be, tell you your feelings that, are wrong. And, and that's the word I use, justification. So we can say, I felt this type of way. You made me feel this type of way. So now I'm exonerated for doing these 70 fucking million bad things to you because I felt the way. Fuck out of here. Yes, that's happening. I know, <laughs> and that's my point. And, and I'm not and, saying and we are in a society it. now where that rock, that it washes. I felt something. I know your feelings should have left me off the fucking summer jam screen. It's just bad. Muffins, crap. Am I right? Like, yeah. tell me if I'm wrong I or right. Muffins, like, yo, bitch. because again, you're you, right you, you felt something. No, he you. I'm right. right in a room full of logic. Yo, you but felt that's... something. You, you felt the way. Don't say that. <laughs> fucked up. Don't say that. I you can't. Up. You, you can't say that. Am I right? What? No, you're not right because okay. there's logical women out there. I didn't hear what he said. But okay. No, there are a ton of logical women out there. Okay. And there's a ton that operate off emotion too. Everybody operates off but emotion and logic versus to a certain logic. degree. Versus what I'm logic. saying is, yo, I'm just tired of people saying, yo, you made me feel this way, so I could do all of these fucked up things to you mm -hmm. because I felt a way. You get what I'm saying? I, 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 I agree. And it don't you. fly when we say it. Yeah, I fucked 17 women out here, but you made me feel some way when you ain't make the steak as good as I wanted it. Fuck out of here. It's I don't I don't subscribe to it when men do it, nor do I subscribe to it when women do it. It's I'm just saying, I don't like that shit. Yeah, he and he ends he probably, up looking like a I fool. Mean, I only speak from experience. I have, a, I have a trail of women who have kicked my back in just because they felt like kicking a back in. No offense, my nigga. You ain't Will Smith. What does that have to do with it? His can, track can, record, uh, this is what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to play. You my man, I, I love you, but to play. I'm you just ahead. saying like, yo, you can't find Will Smiths out here. Mm. We taking that for granted. Like, this is black excellence. This man is fucking amazing. From what we know on the surface, he might have some shit going on behind closed doors that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. But so the let fact me, is he keep it behind closed doors. It's behind closed fucking his, his doors. His dirt don't it's ever get aired out. It's not public knowledge. Ever. So it might be industry knowledge because the industry people got yeah. You know, ties. Public knowledge, it ain't. That nigga's amazing from what we know on the surface. Mm -hmm. That nigga's fucking amazing. And we be kind of giving the nigga, giving her some passes publicly that I don't think. Oh, I don't she's gotten her ass torn up. I don't give a pass. She's gotten her, she, but not just us. She's gotten her ass torn up publicly. That August <sighs> Alcina shit, she did. She nah. did. The Tupac poetry shit. She no. did. She did. I don't, I don't <laughs> see. She was trending. It was hashtag. We got they were saying all types of shit. We got different definitions. It was putting Will, I guess. Will's face from the red table shit on different memes. They Which makes up. him look even more stupid. I, I agree. Right? Like, yes. he, he, she's not getting tore up. I agree, ish. I, uh, uh, chill out, man. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying, like, Take she's, chill, she's not getting tore up. Um, Facebook, round of applause, maybe. <laughs> kind of. Face, Smoke and mirrors. Face, Facebook change. Oh, in the middle of crisis is what AP says. Facebook, that's not Joe. I'm reading what AP is saying. AP says in the middle of crisis, Facebook Inc. renames itself Meta. Now, this is not Facebook as we know it. This is their parent company that company. owns Facebook yeah. changing the name to Meta. They will say to expand business opportunities and blah, 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 blah. blah. What the, some of the pundits are saying is that this is just a cover-up because they had some bad media shit happen to them and they're trying to step on it. And that bad media shit was what again? The whistleblower. That, oh, that, that they A whole bunch of leaked documents and all that, that they, stuff. That they, oh, yeah, it was a whistleblower that stated that Facebook was aware that something they were doing was harmful. Hmm. Yo, speaking of whistleblowers, this is completely off subject, but dope sick. It's not. 
It's not off subject. It's not off subject. Oh, you know I started. I just told Joe this earlier. You I said, yo, that shit drives. It's watching like the most dope frustrating sick, show I think I've ever seen. It's almost like you could, if you pull out Look what you the did. Oxycontin and insert Facebook, some of this or shit. Or anything is the, corporate, by the way. Or any a lot scam of this shit is the same, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that shit. Fill in the blank. Yeah. You're, you're all caught up with dope sick. I am. That like, shit is frustrating. Like it. Oh, it's amazing. Bro, it's so frustrating. <laughs> Why is it frustrating for you? Because you they know just, people that have experienced Well, that, 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 you being one of them, shit. Yeah, it was tough. <laughs> that shit must be really frustrating for you to oh, watch. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Because the beef with, with the people that loved me wasn't this grand. It was, oh, shit, you hooked on some shit. Right, you're it fucked up. You're fucked up. Yeah, it wasn't how you got there, why it's so difficult to get off of it. It wasn't any of that. So, yeah, it's tough to watch, but really, really, really phenomenal. Sure, you're doing a great job. Michael Keaton is the man. Michael yeah. Keaton is great. Boy, is he pissing me off in this shit. That's, a, that's when you know somebody doing a good job. A yeah. from BA. He's adding you know when somebody doing a good job when you in, you be mad at the person? Like the actor is killing it. And he don't really be the villain a yeah, lot he's of not, times. Yeah. And he's not really the he's villain, not here. The villain yeah. here. But what pissed spoiler me off alert. about... Yeah, I'm, I'm, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah, for those who haven't watched it. But what pissed me off about this, this and hearing you when you describe your story, it was kind of the same where, yo... I don't want it. Don't give it to me. And it's like they. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's what you know. Right. This now you what actually they, need more. You need more. They push this, this shit is what you need. on us, man. Like, they that's did. fucking nuts, bro. They and did. then when you watch this, and I'm not, I don't, I try not to spoil, but when you watch this and you see how it came from above, and they're like, yo, yeah, we just give them more. Right. No, the way you fight it is to give them more. And the marketing thing. That's creative. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is bro, sick. This, that's this, some yeah. sick shit. Yeah, for real. My, they just lied about the whole shit. Yo, that shit is crazy. You know why it make me mad? And this just me. It make me mad because they clearly saying in Dope Sick that the competition is Vicodin. Yo, we just got to do what Vicodin did. Like, you see right. what's happening out there. Yo, on the streets, Vicodin ain't do it for us like the Oxy did. No. Nah, nah. <laughs> um, <That's, clears throat> I was there for Vicodin. No, 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 I was, no, I was, I was there for Vicodin. I, I, I took no, some. Darvis said all some, that shit. I was there. I, I took some of them shit too. Was what I'm saying. saying. And I remember when Oxycontin came, it was like, oh no, but that one's different. Yeah, we'll never. I never did. O- again. I never did Oxy because everyone. We la- I knew that was doing pills. Was like, yeah, nah, we laughed, that's different. We laughed at the Vicodin dudes. Oh, you still on that? <laughs> you don't even know. It was not the same. Yo, I took Vicodins and threw them shits in the sewer. Whenever it just wasn't. It wasn't it. It wasn't it. It was cool for a second. You had to take Madams just to feel that Oxy shit was different. That's like in the cigs when they tell you they're putting additives in the cigs and you don't know it just because you're a smoker, but you know it's tough to get off. Yeah. They're putting something in there. Mm-hmm. Like you can see the shit mm-hmm. being tough to get off. That scene in the last episode, spoiler alert, where now the young salesman is coming back to Michael oh Keaton. Oh, my God. Saying, that was my fault. All right. I lied to you. My dad never had cancer. Blah, 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 blah. And Michael Keaton says, Yo, you got something? No, nah, I feel you, but... You know where I can get some more of that? Yeah. Damn, I almost cried in my bed. Yeah. I ball, balled up in my bed, man. That, that shit's got to be that... super triggering for you. Yeah, no, it is. But they're doing a really good job, and I've never taken another one. And nobody... The, the, I ain't even watch it yet. But the shit that be making me mad, nobody went to jail. Right. They have documented proof. We watching the documentary that tells the tale from inception to now of what took place. And these motherfuckers got so much bread and so much influence that even now, putting the story out, nobody go to jail. Well, I don't know. I didn't see the end yet. I mean, know. we'd have heard of somebody. Yeah. They jail. just pay fines. Mm-hmm. That's what happens. Yeah, we always pay a fine. Pay fine. You make the, the five thousand billion zillion company pay five hundred million dollars, and it sounds like a lot, right? But it's, it's not, not even a pee in the not, toilet to what their revenue is. In oh one year. shit! And in the last episode, where uh, she was talking, that she was talking to a lady, and the little kid was like, "Nah, aunt, auntie was doing mad shit after she was taking them pills. She was drinking like she had a whole little regimen that she was going off of that y'all probably don't know about." <laughs> and the shit where they were selling drugs in the fucking AA meetings because and yeah, shit. that Bruh. was nuts. Because who was ever girl, just doing was an like, oxy? I get it from there. Nobody was ever just doing an oxy. Mm. You're doing an oxy in combination with your, your, your groove, whatever right. your groove is. And that's where this mix just becomes 
deadly. Man, right? man, man. If you have not seen it, check it out. Hulu. Cut no, the please, that shit is amazing. Please that watch shit is this. Amazing. For real. Really? I thought it was going to be some boring shit. I did too. Yeah, that shit is amazing. Now, every, yeah, watch this one. How many episodes is it? Uh, five. Five, no, so five are every, out. Every five are out right now. I don't know now. how many it's going to be, but probably ten. It'll oh, probably, yeah, yeah, probably yeah, yeah. be Everybody's ten. doing eight to tens in, yeah. in uh, new season, new episodes, period. They're just doing eight to tens. Yeah. Yeah, I incredible. just remember too oh, vividly when you didn't even have to tell them the ailment. You just had to say something hurt. Pain. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes you of had pain. to be programmed to know that. You had to learn that. Yo, I'm just in pain. Fam, Give it I, to me. I watched this and, and I just remember back to the ankle surgery I had like two years ago, and they they prescribed this shit to me, and the doctor was like, "Yo, set an alarm so even if you're asleep." You wake up out of your sleep and take two of these, and that's why you like that's here. fucking that's nuts. It. When you think when and then watching this, it's like, fam, come on, you're trying to get me beat. Come on, dog. I used to come in here and ask, who would you have been in a different gen- generation? Does anybody imagine that? And I used to get laughed at, but I think about it often. But when you see this, then you have to envision. Well, for me, I envision what my dad went through in the seventies with crack. In the hood, like for me, it's the same exact thing. It's the same trauma. It's the same premise. It's the same. Without the coolness, and I haven't spoken to him. I've never spoken to him about it to see if his understanding back then was what mine's is now. With how did this get here? Why is it here? Who's putting it here? That would be a good show. It shows on it. No, I'm talking about him and his dad. Oh yeah, yeah, it shows on it. The sure. fans keep asking for my dad to be a real <laughs> guest. I, and I, 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 we are too. Third, for my, whatever my, number that. My dad has officially started charging me for appearances. <laughs> and just letting everyone know those phone He's calls. He's worth it. The yeah. phone calls are interrupting his pinochle games. And <laughs> he says I catch him at the worst times, but and you make him lose. subjects. You make him lose. He or he begin his ass cracked out there. <laughs> and blame yeah. it on you. <laughs> No, he just called me and like, oh, Joey, karate class, killing me. It's like, nigga, that pinochle game last week kicked your ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who the fuck you think you're talking about? John John kicked you in your ribs at that pinochle table. Yo, you know what we can't never talk about when you're old enough to like know your parents' bullshit? We yeah. never have oh, that man. talk. Oh, hey, Savon, write that one down, please. <laughs> oh, man. Because when can we talk about it? You can't really talk about no, it. You can't. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. But you know, I don't yeah, speak know. to my brother enough to talk about it with him. But when we see each other, we kind of smile at each other, like, <laughs> "Yo, man, you see mommy shit." <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about? Now? Yes, yeah, one thousand percent. All right, all right, that's it. We'll yes. we'll, we'll approach yeah, we, it later. We can unpack yeah. that later. We'll approach it later. It. Anytime Park start playing with his beard, I know to get off a subject. Man. Nah, I'm <laughs> thinking. That's my thinking. We'll, thinking nah, I know. No, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'll <laughs> let the fans ponder. We'll come back to that. We'll revisit that. But that's a great topic. It is. That is, is a great. Great, it's hilarious! Great, great Man. topic. Um, <laughs> uh, be full of shit, oh shit! So. But we was on Facebook and <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, sorry, I do real. We were on shit. Facebook and them. Cha- what do you think of the metaverse? How about that? Let's approach it from the business aspect. Uh, I mean, the, the the concept of hanging out virtually with your friends, avatars. I'm not probably yeah. Not I feel gonna, like I'm I've not going to do that shit. <laughs> I think this is a really big deal. Uh, I've been speaking to different companies about. Uh, virtual reality options. I do think that this is the wave of the future and I see them being ahead of it. I feel like that. On the flip side, I feel like I've been a part of something like this before and maybe this is the evolved version of it. Like Mm -hmm. I've been there for, what was that old shit that fucking uh, Corey made me go? The Gimlet? Gigit. The Gigit. That was similar to this. That was kind of your own world. They may have had a deal. I don't know. It's kind of an evolution of like a chat, chat house Clubhouse, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's hanging out in a room, but now we can sort of now look at each it's, other it's, it's or VR, like, AR, if we want to integrated. animate each other. I do think it maybe will be cooler when the technology gets to the point where it's like a more real FaceTime or Zoom and we're kind of in the same room, sort of. Yeah, I want to get this out there because it's been on heavy on my soul for the past year. If Steve Jobs were alive, we would get... Oh, Ice corrected me, but I don't care. Fuck Ice. If Steve Jobs were alive, we would get to record audio from phone calls via FaceTime. He would give us that feature. There's nothing Ice could tell me that would make me think differently. He would have changed the shape of the phone. You can't do that now? Ca- no. No. 
And for good reason. And when I told Joe, he said, oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Steve Jobs, much like Sackler dude, would have found a way. way around He would have found a way around it. So way around that shit now. <laughs> Use another device. I mean, nigga, you just got to watch your fucking screen recordings of FaceTime on silent. You don't get to hear the moans or nothing that she was doing when you was making your shit. You know what I mean? Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Just go ahead. I think this is just another step towards the evolution of humans. That's what I was trying to tell you before, Joe. When do y'all think human extinction is in effect? When do y'all think we're out of here? How many years? I mean, it depends on how quickly they write climate change. 75. We all agree that humans are getting out of here at some point. Yes. Probably. No, yes. I'm not They're already working on it. Yes. I'm not doing this part. Yes. 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 Probably. No, yes. Depending on Well, you don't believe yes either, huh? To men, depending you know, on how many boosters you niggas start taking. <laughs> every species that has existed has Fam. become extinct, and we think humans are going to be the ones to. You know the next in step? that in that pattern. Do you know what the next step is? is? Do you know what the next step is? What are they talking about? You know what the next step is? Seriously, I'm what listening. is it? Artificial intelligence. They're going to find a way to put the conscious mind into. But why do they think we sound crazy? That's where they're going. Wait, That's you what think humans are living forever, to do and they're going to get there. Fuck no. You think humans are living forever? No. You think humans are living forever? Forever? No. I say yes. Humans are going to live forever, but it's going to be just conscious. Your conscious will be able to live. The fl- the body so is going to be out of here. Humans today, as we know it, don't change it around. Humans will not will not be present. And Correct. There will be a new version of whatever they call that. Correct. So let me ask you a question. And that's AI. Using your theory, right? Mm-hmm. How do you reproduce? It's it's just cold at that point. How do you? Re- yeah, it's you cold. Type, you type something. You type something. No, you're not going to need physical bodies. You don't need, bodies. A, you don't need a womb. Said you're not going to have a physical presence. It's going to be just a, like a conscious. It's be, I don't think nothing Nothing about the past tells us. I feel like we're going to be like dinosaurs, man. There's going to be an Fam, alligator see, that lives on. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like, like the, yo, you see the Matrix? There's going to be turtles that it's live gonna be like on. the Matrix. How it became the computers versus the humans, damn near. And my question was, how do you reproduce? But an the alligator gonna, even you don't going... You need to reproduce wait, when there's no more humans. Wait, stop, because y'all are doing good, and I want to bros this, but I want to get to parks first. Yeah. yeah, but the alligator today is not considered a dinosaur. He's considered maybe an extension of... A mm, dinosaur, a di- he but, but he's not considered... I know, but he's, 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 he's an off dinosaur. Because he lived. <laughs> yeah. He stayed. I could give a fuck what the reason is. We don't yeah. look at the alligator and say, this is from the dinosaur family. That's Why don't you? Because you were taught that. Hmm? You were taught that. No, I don't. Well, I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, you were taught that because again, if you look me. at a dinosaur in comparison to what "quote unquote" dinosaurs were, and look at they, an alligator, they told now, me reptile. Well, that's that's, well, that's, that's, well, that's, that's a little different they now because now reptile, with, with, with their with their technology and dating, they realized they were wrong about dinosaurs. They was like, "Oh shit, these shits were actually more like birds. They wasn't like scaly like we thought." That and that's just that's new shit. You want to take it a step further? Yeah, go ahead. Dinosaurs are dragons, but I don't feel like getting into my bag. <laughs> Dinosaurs but still, we don't, nigga. Look, they want to denounce the existence of dragons. I don't care. There ain't one on Fordham right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay. I didn't dragons, know that it was pro dragon, man. <laughs> whatever it is, they're not walking around right now. <laughs> yeah. I just can't. I can't believe y'all think that we are going to be the beings that are. The I do think actually. I, I've had I some conversations that. about the chips. Nobody thinks. I've that. had some conversations Barnes about the chips that. and people. They're doing it already. I know, and I do think that there is some positive shit that could happen from that. They're going to get him. Oh, no, but listen. You know the wife's always find like, positive <laughs> shit. Because like, they always picture to put themselves in the best case scenario in whatever gym. What, whatever you Come say. on, Parks. Fair I want to hear it. You're going to give me some of the positive. So they they're going to give you the cancer chip. Why not? Because you're white. They're going to give me the cancer <laughs> chip. No, what if they give you the chip that could tell you you're sick before you're sick? Mm-hmm. I would love that. Exactly. That, what if they gave, what if, what if your mom could get a chip that would say she'll live 25 more years healthy? My mom will get it right now. Look, and this is one of the distinctions. Because we grow up where we grow up, and facing some of the shit we face, we, we trust don't that trust shit. nothing. We're not gonna because trust Because you're looking shit. at the best case scenario. What if they could di- pre-diagnose this, we, nigga? Yeah. What if you're trying to get we're away and the they could tell you exactly yeah, where you saying. are? Yeah, it's it's right. Like, he's like, looking at the best. We're looking at the I know, worst. I know. You are right. Like yo, what if we? You say Minority Report? Mm-hmm. Then they got to take his one, eyes one out of my to escape movies. the law. Remember? Mm-hmm. One of my favorite movies, and I still can't wrap my head around the premise, and I do feel like that's a viable option in the future. It's fucked up. You can't arrest me for some shit I thought, dog. Why can't they? Why can't they? If they can prove, if they can, if they can prove, prove to society that, that this will make y'all safer. And, that, and that's the downside. That's all it takes. All we do is push and fear. That's, and that's the that's downside it. of the chip. 
That's all we do is push fear. The downside of the chip is, oh, now y'all heard me think that I should kill that person, so you want to take me off of the streets. Mm -hmm. Fam. That's scary to me. They showed how the last, like, four or five elections. That's scary to me. The presidential nominee that won, all he did was push the fear agenda. Ish, let me interrupt you for two seconds. Young boys and Erickson in Video Village. Every time we do a podcast and have one of these adverse conversations, I think it should be a highlighted conversation to go out segmented on its own, but it never happens. And that's because I think y'all don't really appreciate any of this weirdo fuck shit, (laughs) right? (laughs) So I'm going to make it a note to point out when weirdo fuck shit is happening so it can be highlighted and tagged as weirdo fuck shit so we can attract other weirdo fucks who are on the same type of time. What do y'all think? Nah, facts. Nah, yeah. facts. <laughs> nah, facts. Nah, facts. Nah, facts. He's got a point. Nah, 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 right. Nah, facts. Nah, I totally see where he's coming from. Yeah. When he says Factual. That. Nah, nah, it's facts. It's facts. Nah, that's funny. What you were saying? I forgot. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying that that's we don't the trust. downside of that chip for right. me is that oh, you're gonna run my thoughts report. through a stream. Now you might could take me off for the streets for a charge that this could be the new fucking drug charge. Whatever you think I'm thinking that I shouldn't be here for. Like I would be True. paranoid. And how do you defend against that? I would be What's your defense? Right? How do you defend against that? Even well, my... I don't know that they would do oh, that because awesome. you, you know that fucking that's a great question. Joe Biden is sitting there right now thinking some fucked up shit like I mean, as no. is every police officer. Well, some as people, is every... well, some right people would be exempt like the people you name like True. Biden and the police officers and his and cousins the fire department and their uncles and, so and they... Yeah. Yo, I was turning on the news this morning. Uh, the mandate is in effect. Uh, 150,000 people at risk of losing their job by midnight uh, last night mm-hmm. so they had the head of the fire department on there they had a few people on there just going through the grievances hey this ain't right blah, 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 blah. and I'm sitting there thinking I'm like wow like we defunded the police one of my homeboys is a detective ev- everybody's right yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't hear a side in this and say a wrong everybody's right <laughs> like Fam, one it's of my a homeboys weird place. is a detective mm-hmm. and he been on the police force for 19 years he about to retire mm-hmm. and he about to go on leave that's crazy. Like you temporarily go or you run the risk of losing your benefits. Mm-hmm. You run the risk of losing your salary, Pension. all of that shit, because you don't agree with something that you should do. Right. Mm-hmm. But you was out here giving your body away <laughs> for, for this particular organization for 19 years. Uh-huh. And that gets you no grace. That's crazy to me. Even yeah. from a military standpoint, like, yo, fam, I could go to Afghanistan, I could go to Iraq, I could put my ass literally in harm's way, uh-huh. and I come home, and you say, yo, if you don't do this, you got bye. That's nuts to me, and I, nobody can make it okay, in my opinion. Like, that's crazy. But I feel you. I don't uh, have a vaccine I, argument, I feel you. so I'm not going to. I'm not no, no, no I don't want to either. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm not having an argument. <laughs> but, um, I feel everybody. Yeah, 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 that's my yeah. that's my new take. But no, nah, but uh, like but that. again, the 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 chip shit will lead, in my opinion, mm-hmm. to people that's for, people that's against. Whoever has the most money to push for the for or the against will win. And then we just back to the same arguments that we with with the vaccine in terms of what is this chip going to do to my future? Like when I say nobody's wrong, like I hear the women that say I don't know what the vaccine does to my ability to have children when they get more information and I'll make a decision. I feel you on that. Yeah. No, I, I know I people. Feel that, other people. That I know say, somebody else that's being affected by that. Well, I'm just saying, like, I feel everybody on making the best decision for, for you or your family, for you and your family and your loved ones. Because I don't think any of y'all out there saying what's the best route for me to die. True. But then the flip to that, I don't think y'all are saying that. Is if if somebody is trying and to we make live the best... with the repercussions of our decisions. Okay, because y'all gonna say if you're making the with... best decision for you, it's almost like you're being steered a different direction by. By me, or by exactly. whatever. So you not really making. You don't get to make the best decision. You don't get to me. make. The, you don't get to make your personal decision. That's no, the you thing. Don't get to make, and that's the problem. Person, right? Decision. Because now you're putting my livelihood. You're putting my all of these things into forcing me into making mm-hmm. your decision. But you can make an argument for the opposite. And again, I'm not going to sit here and have a vaccine argument. So, okay. what an argument for the opposite would be? Just say it. We won't uh, refute it. Just say it. You not getting vaccinated for a, an employer or someone in the workforce may be making a, a, a decision that impacts us that we don't have a decision in. And that's where the divide is. Right. Yeah. Which is why I'm saying everyone should do what's best 
with them and live with it and with that yeah. said yeah and live with the mm-hmm. results mm-hmm. and yeah. live with the results that's key and with, live with it with yeah. that said what the I have nothing else for the people I'm cool neither was no, there straight. rest in peace that we were missing oh, oh yes. yeah absolutely oh, <sighs> yes freeway lost his daughter and he just lost freeway his son not too long ago lost his 21 year old ago, to the, almost to the day or like within weeks but this announcement is to say that Freeway lost his 21-year-old daughter who passed away after a battle with cancer. Free man, all of our hearts go out to you. Word. And I cannot imagine the position that you are in losing two children in that close of a time frame. Trying to imagine it is painful for me. So I just want to let you know that I love you. We love you. We are praying for you. And we are thinking about you. That's what I want to say to Freeway. Because this pain. Yeah. It's crazy. This pain. This pain. I'm certain is different. Certain of it. And I was on her Instagram page just reading reading her last posts or captions where her headspace was. She was strong and thinking she would come out of this. Mm-hmm. Like, her faith was strong. I read her Father's Day caption to free. It's tough to read this stuff. Do you start yes. crying? It's tough to read this stuff. Yes. It's tough to read this stuff. Uh, free, we love you. And rest in peace to both of your children. Hip-hop as a community is praying for you. Y'all, 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 y'all have some good sleepers? Yeah, yeah. I heard it all. I leave on issues. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't have time. They <laughs> should be playing some shit, though. Yeah, he really I'm do. I'll be the one that dumb. be playing the nah. shit that you should walk out on. I'm ignorant. Now, I like dumb. to hear, you give a diverse hip-hop to, I want to hear the bullshit that you on. <laughs> Parks, give me my old, if I was still rapping bag. Ish is so unpredictable <laughs> that I just will leave because... I don't, you don't know where time. he going. I don't have time for his shit, man. I don't. America got a drink. Hey, Ooh. they love me. Black Chuckles, Black Scully love Yo, 50 was great, yo. Well, I don't think shit. there's any way that you could have 50 outside of your top 20 or 25 rappers just based off what he has said. He's not the best rapper, but he said too much. Look at me. Like, how, like, how do you start a record like that? For real. That's what I mean. Like, it's such a simple thing. 50 right is in. on that prodigy Oof. list of how to start a record for me. True. Mm-hmm. Very true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very true. Nah, for real. Prodigy is number one, of course, but 50 got to be two, three, four. He's somewhere on there. Ooh. Look, Phyllis. America got to thank for this gangster shit. They love me. The end. And That's it's hard. hard. And it's the truth. To this day. Ish. All right, if Ish don't feel me there. Uh, I didn't say two words, uh, fam. Growing up, I was confused. That, My mama the kissing a that's girl. That's the one. And how that beat come on, that's the one. That's the one. He's up there. No, he's up there, man. And you know what? I was, I still am excited that he performs the Power theme song when he performs. He did that at Rolling Loud. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You got to do that. It's I know, but record some people years. might look at it as corny. Nah. I, I, I want to hear all them shits, really. I, I all the theme songs it, you do is fire. I look at it as being really symbolic to... His path. Mm-hmm. I just like that. His journey. That was just a record before that. Like, that that wasn't made for power. That was a record they had. That and record's been out for you know, years. You know, 50 is such a good friend of Trey Songs. Would have to be. Because <laughs> any other way, we would hear the Trey Songs version. And he would say, yo, cut that shit the fuck off. And then he would play the Joe version. Oh, yeah. And he got that Trey Songs version out of here so fast. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no he, he didn't get that out about of here. the power of nah, the people. We got it. We got it. We got it. He tried to jazz it up some. He tried. I don't think hip hop spent enough time on that. <laughs> we didn't have to. He, they spoke. Yeah, yeah it's hard to. Outdo and it. nobody ever asked Joe how he felt seeing the song right. go and then come back. You don't think there's some questions we should just know the answer to in hip hop? That's one of them. That's one of them. Shout out to Fifty Man. Shout out to the whole Queens. Shout out to Power BMF, which I still have not watched, but I plan on. 
I it's haven't good. started Succession yeah, yet, but I it's plan good. on the new, the new season. Tank show. I know, I know. The yes, I know. Show. Season is over, so I'm now a, you can be. No, no, no. I'm going to watch it. I don't think they're going to talk about punching me in the face. No, nah, they're not. No, not, not yet. yet. I think not I'm going to watch yet. it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, shout out to Ghostface Iron Wait. Man, 25 year anniversary. All I got to do is get like home. Yo, if I see my name or my likeness used in a disrespectful manner, I swear for God. I'm pulling Yo, it's up. It's mm, up. Don't do that. It don't have the same effect. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. It don't have the same effect when I nah, do that. Yeah. yeah, don't do that. Niggas know Joe. That show was great, I ain't pulling no, up it is. nowhere to do nothing with nobody. That's your, that second season? Whew. So I'm going to check it out. It's a lot of TV to watch, man. It's a lot to get to. And please start success. Yo, keep <laughs> us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Hasta la vista. Adios. Arrivederci. So long. Goodbye. And all that good stuff. Remember... Life is a series of moments and moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And last but certainly not least, hey, the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab an ibuprofen. You're going to get a headache sometime soon. Or some melatonin. You could just go to sleep on her ass. <laughs> Yo, you could just nod off while she's dead drill. in the middle of some shit. Word, you could do it. And we gone, same time, same place. Shout out to my Knicks. Ah. Four and one, Chicago who? Or off, got sticky at the end all of the game, off season, you niggas kept telling me, oh, DeMar DeRozan, Lonzo Ball. Nigga, fuck him. <laughs> that nigga Lonzo was out there just getting jade in his face by Kimba, who y'all told me was too old to still play. Is anybody watching this stuff or is it just me? Just Don't you. worry about I'm it. I'm not watching. Don't worry about it. Nigga Lonzo whole face is right in the middle of that bull. <laughs> Kimba pulling up from just anywhere on the court. That's crazy. Go no, Knicks, no, man. No, we no, here. No, 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 no,